Our students have arrived at the old academy, walking through, experiencing the nightmare of the past. A destroyed school ravaged by foreign invaders. While a mysterious magic known as the day has fallen over its grounds. Our students seek one goal to return their familiars to their side, finding a hidden tunnel where students of the past have escaped before. They navigated its deep labyrinth and have arrived at a unsettling lab. A cloud of day falls over the room. Our students enter to be greeted by an apparition of their former friend, Nigel, stating only two words, I'm sorry. Please. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. We're here. Well, well. Well, well, well. We've, we've arrived at the conclusion of the story. What that conclusion is has yet been written. Like this can end a, a, a many number of ways. And for those uh, that saw All King on Tuesday, I mean what I say. I genuinely don't know how this is going to end today. So we're not Ooh. using the script you sent out last night? Uh, yeah. You can go ahead. <laughs> it was really, it was well, really like, hard to learn that Elvish script. Oh, wait, wait. So you read the script? Yeah. I thought we were... <laughs> and then Joe says... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> you, uh, you 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 fe you fell for that's it. That's the only line I have. You fell, <laughs> you, you fell for it. I set the expectation. And so now... you made us do homework for nothing. I'm going to shatter it. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, oh, no. Brett, by the way, uh, I'm level eight now. No. <laughs> that was like a worth a try, though. That was pretty good. That was, that was really, that was, that was definitely worth a try. Oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> Persuasion. That's full deception, dude. What do you mean? No, no, no I'm trying to persuade you to let me have it. Oh, okay. Okay. I like it. Um... Well, well, you know, let, let's just see how the session ends. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll be may, dead. Maybe I'll give you something. We're all gonna die for your troubles. You know, you've set the stage very well when the players all believe they're gonna die at the end of the session. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm immortal. I'll never die. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Where we last left off, uh, you explored the old academy went down into its dangerous labyrinth, walked into a plane of the day, and you are now staring at a cloud of, of, of day magic with the apparition of Nigel walking out, simply stating the two words, I'm sorry. So with that, what do you do? Sorry for what? Um, do you walk forward at all or anything like that? No, I absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> I that <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, does anyone else say anything? Uh, or do they wait for a response from yeah, ask I wait question. For a response. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're, yeah, you're, you're familiars. I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to take them. So, so it was you then. Nigel looks down. Yes. It, it, it wasn't intentional. I I was trying something, a, a spell, something. And at that point, you just see that his eyes kind of close as he, a pained expression washes over his face. There's not much time. I was simply trying to create a, a, a duplication of, of the same spell. I, I was off. 
I was so off in, in calculations. It, it brought them here. I, I, and he looks up and just, I, I understand if you hate me. Yes, but can we have our familiars back, please? I, I would want nothing more. His tears begin to go down his face. Um, Tremor and Gideon, what are you currently doing? Um, I think he's watching Nigel carefully and trying to determine how much agency he has. Mm -hmm. Like, how much of this is actually Nigel versus, uh, you know, a projection. Like, is it really him sort of thing? Right. He's not convinced yet okay. that, you know, everything's cool. Yeah. Uh, Gideon, what are you doing currently? Uh, I think he's just, Gideon's just clenching his fist at this point. Um, kind of trembling a little bit, mm -hmm. like wanting to ask questions, but Al's kind of, you know, leading the conversation. Uh, what is uh, an insight roll, by the way, if it helps? Uh, yeah. Uh, this apparition, um, uh, from what you can tell, and the, the 20 would just meet it because it's very difficult with illusions or apparitions or ethereal beings if they don't have the same tells as those with physical form um but from what you can tell this apparition uh, is appears is, appears to be truthful with his words he is filled with regret uh at that point in time his illusionary form would begin to ripple a little bit as you kind of see the the clouds behind grow a more violent red, like it, it 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 becomes more of a saturated red. He looks up and he just says, "Just know that I did everything that I could to save your familiars. To even if it meant offering up my own life, I wanted to do right. We don't have much time." And I don't know how long I can keep communicating. You must not trust the academy. And you begin Why? to you begin to hear a, a rumbling come from there. He look and he just looks over to Al. They're hiding something. The students. They knew. They knew about the students. And at that point, he vanishes. As you hear a combination of roars and growls emerge from the red cloud, you hear the snarling of a wolf, the hissing of a snake, a screech of what appears to be of some sort of rodent all while some sort of sloshing of slimy like tendrils begin to whip out you hear the weeping of a young lad and finally a sound that you will never forget the grunting of Otto as the clouds clear. Oh, you fucker. Oh my god, I didn't oh, even realize that's all that was. Amalgamation. As a amalgamation of all fuck. combines together into Holy a failed fuck. experimentation. Oh my god, dude. Not Holy fuck. As Nigel is absorbed in trying to maintain its form. That's fucking metal. But whatever is left of this being it seems to act off of primal instinct. Its hostilities lashes towards you. Everyone roll initiative. Brett, that art is fucking cool. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. That's all, all thanks to the talented sea bear. Ow. Wait, 
How did it, what did it come up? I was definitely clicking my stuff. Try it. Yeah, try again. Oh, there you go. Wow. It's, the system, the safe system seems to have succeeded you. <laughs> I just clicked Wait, the computer the a little bit. Hmm. Uh, hey, there must have been a hiccup with the system. Try uh, re-rolling your initiative again. My character sheet is gone. You using D&D Beyond? Oh, yeah. Jesus. My brain is <laughs> no, it's not fine. working. It's fine. <gasps> okay, there we go. Uh, let me go ahead and also do a few rolls. I like to think I'm pretty good at guessing what's coming, but I did not guess we'd be fighting with our familiars in some form of... It's cool that each of the familiars has initiative. Mm hmm That's scary. Oh, there's going to be a, a lot of surprises today. Right. <laughs> If we if we cast uh, familiar bond, do we still get it? I I was gonna say I I, I don't know about that, but I think it, it could be a mechanic to try to like rest them from the, you know. Yeah, can we do that? Do you think we could the amalgamation. Yeah, so there there's a uh, there's a couple of things I'm I'm gonna bring up here that's gonna be a little different than the usual encounters. Um, I have to manually enter everyone in, so one moment, please. I didn't know if I could add everyone's initiative to the same token, but I don't believe I can, so that's okay. So, while I'm adding this in, you are in the middle of what I can only consider uh, very saturated day magic, which, as we ex we explained uh, last campaign, or the last session, um, it, it is used to influence magic and, and manipulate it in sort of altered ways that are just unexpected from how you would normally handle magic. Um, so there's a couple of things that you will be able to do while you are in this battlefield. Um, first and foremost, the one that I think you will find most vital um, is the replenishment of spell slots. You may take a bonus action to attempt to replenish 1d4 levels of spells oh, shit. while wow. you are in this area. However, okay. it, it comes at a cost. As you do so, um, I get to roll as if you are a wild magic sorcerer, which means a roll of 1d20 oh, will happen at oh, that point. If I roll one, the wild magic table goes off. The more that you continue to use this ability by each individual, uh, that number threshold will begin to increase. So if you use the ability twice this battle, I roll, and if I roll two or lower, the magic wild magic table goes off as the mm -hmm. day makes the magic more and more unstable. So, does that, uh, so say if I did it, then Tremor did it, and then Eleanor did it. It's would both, it, be it would it'd always be once. Um, it's per person. Um, okay, per person. As you continue to do it, um, then yeah, the number threshold continues to increase. In addition, cool. um, as sort of a, 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 a to recall uh, what I mentioned to Tremor last session, um, at any time while you are in this day of magic, you may exchange your spells for spells of healing, specifically the healing spell that clerics can do. So you may exchange a level one spell um, to cast a touch healing spell either on yourself or a touch target for 1d8 plus your spell um, casting modifier. Um, if you use higher level spell slots, it's the it's an additional 1d8 per higher level of spell. Um, but mm. be advised, same thing, um, as you continue to do so, uh, you begin to stack chances of wild magic that begin to increase. However, that would be in its own separate table. So if you were to, for example, regain spells and then use a spell to heal, um, those would both be, I have to roll one for the wild magic table to go off. Uh, are we clear on, on all this? So how, how do you change from a uh, normal spell to a healing spell? Uh, you would just sacrifice the spell slot. So mm. if, you, if you had a level one spell, mm. instead of casting magic missile, you would turn it into a healing spell. Oh, okay. But it gets a little risky at that point because again, you have a chance of wild magic and wild magic. While there are, I've read all the wild magic, there's a lot of good things. There's definitely some things that may take you out of the battle entirely. So. Yeah. But goddamn, is it fun to roll on that tape? <laughs> <laughs> so please be cautious. And with that, 
Are you ready for the finale of Arcane Academy? Let's rock, yes. baby. So you have, let's, let's do see it. what you've got. A little music then. Wait. Gideon, you're up. Crap. Um, one, two, three. Get in, just Gideon. draw a line. Well then. Uh, okay, I'm just going to cast Magic Missile at a second level. Do I have to target? Like, can I target a certain familiar? Uh, I will leave that up to you to to to, to discover oh on your own. I am going to target Oswin specifically. Okay. <gasps> um, and go for Magic Missile and Kudiat to. Yeah, let's kill Oswin. <laughs> Five. It's six, right? At third level. Uh, yep. Okay. We're gonna have third level. Hot damn. Four, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, seventeen. Um, one moment. Uh, seventeen damage total. Yep. All right. This is for Oswin specifically. All right, uh, you kind of see Oz as you aim up above the abomination. Um, Oswin's fleshy head just recoils in pain as you do so. It appears mm. that you are able to attack single parts of the familiar. Al, mm. your turn. Al is going to immediately glare at Gideon and look across to it. Can I use my free action to determine how much health Oswin has? Uh, yes, you can. You are unable to determine Oswin's health with that roll. Um, if I cast slow, oh, it's up to around six, up to six creatures. Would they all have to roll to see who it hits? Uh, I'll put it in the chat if you want it. Uh, yes. So I'll put it in the chat. Yes. Um. Okay. Well, he's gonna he's gonna cast slow in the whole area. Okay. Weaves around his hands and uh, yeah, cast slow. So they'd have to make a uh, wisdom saving throw each. Please. All right. And then beat my DC of sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. well, slow. Nigel slowed. Lumi is good. Oswin is slowed. Auto is slowed. Risk is slowed. Holy shit. Uh, Eleonora is good. Okay. Or Eleanor is good, excuse me. Wait. Wait. Eleanor? Lumi? Oh, Eleanor. Uh, Alice is familiar. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's confusing. We've got Eleanor and Eleanor. Yep. Oh. Okay. Um... Uh, he's gonna move 30 feet to the west. Oh, east, sorry. And then uh, I'll use my bonus action to restore 1d4 hit uh, things. Okay. Uh, roll 1d4. Oh. Three. So you so may that, uh, you may just determine how you'd like to spread uh, spread that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, what do you? Uh, what spells do you? Spells last you regenerate? Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a third level spell slot. Just okay. get one of those back. All right. Wild magic table roll, you're good. Um, but the wild magic begins to destabilize a little bit now. All right, that's my turn. All right. Next up, Lumi. Lumi's head kind of begins to unnaturally turn over as a chittering sound comes from her. Oh boy. Uh. Let me measure real quick. Yep. As a fiery knife storm appears, um, I'm going to target specifically Eleonora. Okay. Eleonora and the five foot sphere around uh, means that Eleonora, Gideon, and Tremor. I need dexterity saves from all of you. If you recall the spell, you remember on the airship, uh, Lumi casting this during the illusionary familiar fight. 
Oh, fuck. It's got the mechanics of the fight. That means Otto can res. No! Oh, <laughs> we gotta focus on my boy. Oh, fuck. Wow. He's so too the, powerful. The uh, dexterity saves from everybody, uh, besides... Oh my god. That is bad. Those that failed the dexterity save takes 11 points of fire damage as you see these illusionary knives become extremely real huh. as they throw over towards you. I'm oh, not doing so hot, guys. Yeah. I need to get you a healing spell. Eleanor, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to use lightning bolt. Okay. Um, and try to hit, I guess, as many of the targets as I can, because it's everything in a hundred foot line, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can, if you want to, try and arc it around all of them. Uh, so that it hits all of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd like to do that, I think. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that is oh, good oh, damage. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Yeah, That's a nice roll. That's Let's a go. Pretty nice roll. Damn. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Dexterity saves all around. Uh, Nigel's good. So this is half damage on failure. Uh, what's your DC 16? Uh, Lumi takes damage. Oswin takes the full amount. Uh, Otto takes the full amount. Risk takes half damage. And the snake, uh, takes the full amount. Uh, so let me go ahead real quick and document all this. You can also check, uh, health if you want to roll. Uh, yeah, with the arcane check, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Arcana? Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, what are you nice. checking specifically? Um, uh, I, so it has to be individually, it yeah. sounds like. Yes. Um, I guess I'll check Oswin's health to find out for, uh, Aldoris. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one moment. By the way, I checked, and Familiar Bond is a 10-minute spellcast, so... Yeah, we ain't doing that shit. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Risk took half, so that's 15. And... Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put tokens out so you can actually maintain the health. Um, these aren't actual tokens that will... that are fighting, just so you know. Okay. Oh, I just noticed the, uh, the Oswin design up top. Yeah. Like, I didn't see that the He's snail like was, body. like, uh, the hood. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. And the shell behind it. Uh... It's kind of ironic, because he's the pygmy one. Yeah. Let me just make sure everyone can see. Bring. All right, we can cast familiar bond. All we need to do is have <laughs> fifty. No, one hundred rounds, right? Yeah. One hundred rounds. That's all we gotta do. Keep CCing. It's like divinity. Yeah. Uh. You might want to move too, by the way. Uh, if they got more AOE. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Um. I I'm just going to go, I guess, here. Try to space this out a little bit. Okay. Does that end your round? Yes, I think so. Tremor. Well, great, T then. Uh, Tremor. They're all grouped up, so this is really the best time for it. Um, I'm going to cast... Well, first, I guess I'm going to do an Arcana check to try to check the health of the Nigel Abomination itself. Okay. Uh, that is not a high enough roll to determine the health. Okay. Then I'm going to cast at level, a third level, Cloud of Daggers. So... <laughs> There's just a slashing appears. Uh, are you... What's the DC? Um, it is a... Let's see. It's a persistent concentration spell for a minute where every creature 
um, that either starts its turn um, within the area or ends its turn there. Let's see. Yeah, enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Takes this damage. Um, it is a five foot cube. Okay. Um, and let's see. I don't know if there is a DC. Five foot cube specifically. So it'd be like something like this. I think it's the same thing that you had used on us, right? Which is five feet in all directions. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm down for that. Um, so I would center it on a location that it would get everyone, or as many of them as I can. Okay. And I will um, move this up the front. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm looking. I don't see a DC. So I guess it's whenever he first set, cast a spell. It's, it's a range seven. attack. Oh, you have to make it a uh, of knives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not a range attack because it's an AOE. No. It's a concentration on a persistent, basically, hazard. Uh, real quick. I'm just reading what I see on nope, the... Nope, that's uh... it. Yeah, you fill the air with spinning daggers, oh, a five-foot yeah. cube on each side, uh, centered at a point you choose within range. A creature takes 44 slash damage when it enters the spell for the area for the first time, or its turn starts in there, which means next round, it's just going to take the 44. Oh, yeah, oh, I rolled 17. He cast, at, he cast it at third level, didn't you? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be 64 damage. Yep. Um, can I also convert one of my first level spells into bonus action healing word that can heal myself, or is that not possible? So just uh, the healing uh, spell would be a uh, standard action still. Okay. So then I'm going to roll for getting spell slots back. Okay. So do I roll 1d4 first? And then I All right. roll. All right, you're good. And then I'm going to run 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, what spell slots do you replenish? Uh, one third and one first. Okay. Next up is the Oswin. Amalgamation. Uh, you just kind of see the tendril just or its head kind of arch up a little bit as the macy tendrils around it flail about. Uh, Nigel now has plus two armor class and uh, has gained saving throws until the end of Nigel's round. Um, take, by the way, 17 damage on his turn start. One moment. Uh, okay. Um, he can also, because he fell slow, he can roll wisdom, save at the end of each of his turns, see if he succeeds. Okay. Because uh, at the moment he's minus two AC and minus two to deck saves and stuff. All right, and the slow end. Oh, sorry, that's the Nigel abomination. Yeah. Nope, that's oh. not it. Wrong roll. Uh, nope, still slowed. No, still slow. Nice. He's uh, already slow. It's true. Uh, next up is Risk, who lets out a just a, an, an eerie howl that echoes through the room. Oh boy. Uh, and also Oof. takes uh, roll forty six or sixteen. I think it's the same roll, so it's seventeen. Okay, you don't roll each time. I mean, I could. It's up to you. Um, yeah, let's roll each time because I like to imagine every turn it's just the debt that just keeps slashing. So the damage right. would be different every time you'd roll. Uh, also, did did Osmond take damage? I didn't see his health go down. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot that. Uh, that was there. There we go. Um. The snake will turn about and spit out. One second. Let me see what the range is here. Uh, yeah, we're good. Is this a feature or a spell, Brett? Oh, uh, this is a spell. Or, uh, a, or, or, have... or a feature. All right. What do you mean by feature or spell? 
because it says whenever it casts with slow, if you cast a spell, I believe it is. Let me just read it. Oh, um, yeah. It, it wouldn't be a spell then. It okay. would literally just be part of it. Um, so good. I need Eleonora mm -hmm. to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. As it, oh boy. As it spits acid, uh, as it spits oh, venom and acid towards you. 17. Up, oh, you're good. Oh, okay. Oof. Yes, get me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Otto will let out a grunt. I miss him. Can we hear the <laughs> grunt, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on what feeling oh oh i don't know that's there we go there we go that's it that's my boy <laughs> he's still in there he's still in there cast healing gusts on specifically oswin is that a spell no that is new okay it is a feature of of it uh, all right. He didn't have that last time I had him. Yeah, he did. He did? Yeah, oh, he, shit. Yeah, you're right. He was the healer in Reza. Yeah, he's fucking OP. I, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, he was our back lineup. Yep. And now the abomination will move. Uh, go ahead and roll. Oh, by the way, go ahead and roll damage for. Uh, three. uh right. yeah, three times. Yep. Oh, also, Brett, you get to roll the, the wisdom uh, saves. Yeah, I think Eleanor already succeeded us, right? Uh, yeah, I think Eleanor Nor succeeded. I, I, everyone else didn't, Lu though. Lumi, Lumi and Eleanor, I think, succeeded. Uh, okay, good. And then... Yeah, Riss succeeds. Okay. 12 and 17, good. Otto still has to roll it. I still think he's slowed for this turn, though, right? So Yeah, he's still he slowed. I, so yeah, I think it's a uh, move action or an action, correct? Like he chooses one, one for slow. He can either move uh, or attack. It, no, it can only make one melee attack. It just has half movement speed. Ah, gotcha. All right, so his movement is now 15. As this, you see you, this sham. You didn't roll it for Otto, though. Otto had his turn. You didn't roll the wisdom save. All right, uh, just give me a second. Uh, no worries. Yeah, you see him just go ahead and move there. I okay. moved out of my thing, dude. No, oh, yeah, absolutely <laughs> going to move out of his thing. Uh, as he, uh, lets out a wailing cry. I will simply state the following. He's trying to tell you something. You may decide to refuse this with an intelligence saving throw of DC 15. Or, you may allow it, but you're uncertain what this ability is. I'll allow it. Uh, Gideon, Eleonora, and Al. Mm -hmm. Do you? It's it's to everyone. Oh uh, yes, oh. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna he, try he to fight it. Okay. I don't fight it. <laughs> Either I'm message try goes to in. Find it. Okay. I find it. All right. We'll see you in a little bit, Al. Okay. What does Eleanor do? I, uh, I already said I'm not going to fight it. Okay. Oh, shit. As you end up in a, what appears to be an illusion, a memory of Nigel. Oh, no. Hmm. All but Al are here. What? What is this? Nigel. We are, we are uh, also, by the way, we are currently, we still are maintaining the initiative orders. Uh, oh, but we okay. are currently out of initiative. Okay. Uh, also is... Okay, good. Yeah, Al, Al, Al is not here. Um, yeah, I did that much Cool. Um, you see Nigel just kind of look down a little bit. After the test, I found Malcolm wandering out to the hallways. And then he just kind of steps over here as if to motion for you to follow. And you see Malcolm walking deeper into the halls as Nigel is following. He said some rather barbarous words to me. 
making fun of the fact that I couldn't summon a familiar, telling me that I, I didn't deserve to be at the academy, and I just wanted to prove him wrong. I woke up to find Malcolm going towards the other side of the hall. It seemed Malcolm had something to prove as well. You just kind of hear this distorted voice as Malcolm's walking forward and Nigel's keeping up pace and Malcolm turns over to Nigel. What is it that you want? And Nigel just kind of just quietly says uh, shyly and, and, and frightened. You, you shouldn't be out during the evening hours. We're not supposed to be here. And Malcolm just goes, well, then leave then. I don't need you. I don't need anyone that can't even summon a familiar. There's something I must do. Nigel once again kind of speaks up and says, No. I, you shouldn't be out at night. We don't know what's here. It could be very dangerous and... You, you can't be out alone. And if you insist on staying, then... Well, then I'm, I'm going to make sure that you're going to be okay. Malcolm's kind of taken back a little bit with this, but Nigel continues. You, you may not like me, Malcolm, but I still don't want anything bad happening to you. To, to anyone here. Malcolm kind of looks away for a moment before he just looks towards Nigel and says, doesn't matter. Do whatever you wish. And then he just kind of begins to step forward a little bit. Uh, at this point, you see the Nigel illusion vanish mm. before the apparition steps forward. I'm honestly, I, I hate confrontation. I dislike it greatly, but... And then he looks over to Tremor. Well, knowing that I had friends that cared about me. I wanted to give the same to someone else. Yeah, do you really know how to pick them? <laughs> he he kind of lets out a, a, a soft smile. Before you see Malcolm's back, he turns over as if to face the three of you. And he begins to breathe heavily as you see Nigel be, kind of begin to panic a little bit. Still, he, he scared me. He terrified me. I saw what kind of fiery anger he had. I, I didn't know if, I didn't know if I was going to be safe. Malcolm's eyes begin to flare up as you just hear distorted and echoed as if Nigel was losing control of this illusion he was trying to show you. Mm. You weren't supposed to be here! And the fight continues now with the nightmare of Nigel's nightmare of Malcolm. Uh, Gideon, it's your turn. Uh, as you see Malcolm's arms flare up about to attack you. Oh, like we're in this room? Yep. Oh God, I thought maybe that map wasn't updating. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast, let me make sure I'm close enough. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do acid spray towards Malcolm. Okay. Uh, you have to make a DC 13. Okay. Uh, dexterity, dexterity. Uh, he fails. Uh, so he takes 13 acid damage. Uh, as you strike, you see uh, a couple of things appear uh, in this illusionary hallway. Uh, a circle of radiant energy and what appears to be notes that are glowing. Hmm. Uh, okay. The, um, the, the, the circle feels to be a, uh, a positive force. Okay. If you stand in it. The notes can, may assist you in the battle outside this illusion. Can I uh, use an arcana check to check Malcolm's health? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, one moment, please. Uh, yep, that'll do it. Bring. 
and I get the feeling that he's going to attack me. Uh, he's going to, he's attacking all of you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Get right in his face so that if it's a range, nice to disadvantage on me. Uh, hero. Oh, yeah. Uh, Eleonora. Eleonora, it's your turn. Okay. I'm also going to get right in his face and I'm going to touch him with the Mordo handshake. Yeah, give him the nice. magic. That hits. Okay. 2d20 coming right up. Big damage, big damage. Big damage. As electricity surges over uh, the illusionary Malcolm, you see him begin to distort a little bit from the shock. Brad, uh, can I ask? It, is time stopped for me? Uh, this is all happening in... This, this is literally all happening in uh, Nigel's turn. So, you're, so they're just getting this wave of just information surging into Super, them. Okay. Cool. Yeah, super distilled. Uh, checking real quick. Tremor, it's your turn. Uh, Tremor is going to kick things off by healing himself with uh, a level two spell slot. Okay. Um, yes, sir. You're good. Uh, so can you explain how this works again? I guess it's a healing touch, right? On yep. myself? It's a, if it's second level spell slot, it'll be roll 2d8 plus whatever your spell cast modifier. So intelligence modifier. 2d8. You heal for nice. 14 health. And then, and then my intelligence modifier is plus four. Nice. nice. 18 hit is good. Nice. Really good. Um, and then he's gonna 5, 10, 15... 20, 25, uh, 30. He's going to try to gather these notes and identify them with an Arcana check if he can. Uh, Arcana check, not necessary. You identify the notes and realize it. it is apparently a part of a spell um, of separation. A spell of separation? Can I uh, learn it in the time that I'm reading through them? Or yep. Oh, yep. As you pick it up, you immediately acquire the knowledge that you all do. You acquire the knowledge of this part of separation. Once the oh, spell yeah. is complete, you believe you may actually be able to use this to separate the abomination of okay. Nigel and your familiars. Wow. But you'll need to do right. so, you'll need to do so before you actually kill Nigel. Okay. If Nigel yeah. drops to zero hit points, your familiars and Nigel die. And I assume that also applies to the film that we kill in the fight. Uh, or can we separate their dead bodies after? We, you, you, we well, you don't know what happens when the familiars drop to zero hit points. Maybe an arcana okay. check when you get back may be able to determine ah, that. I like the way you think, DM. Hey, Wink. I'm just letting you know what you think. I think maybe with an arcana <laughs> check. <laughs> Uh, he steps forward, allowing attack forward him up, the attack, attack of up. up. Fuck him up, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you have spells, too. Up. You can do his spells. I'm just going to use my handshake again, if yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. as he's going away. Uh, yeah, gonna... yeah, all out. And I'm going to use Glacial Decay. Yep. Do we have to roll for attack still? Yep. Yeah, okay. That hits. Okay. They, they both hit. And they're 20 Take damage. that, you bitch. <laughs> Uh, nice. for not another nine point of damage. And he, his, he holds out both of his arms as they flare out in fire. Um, as he throws it towards, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Gideon and Eleonora. 16, uh, Gideon for your armor class. Uh, would our mage armor from last session be down yet? Nope, it's still be up. It's still be up. It does not hit. Uh, critical to Eleonora. Uh, wait, Damn. I had mage armor too from last session. But uh, twenty-seven would break that. <laughs> oh, I see. I thought that was the damage. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Can I shield it at all? No, you can't. But I rolled okay. four ones, so four points Minimum of fire roll. damage. Uh, oh, fuckers, dude. Fuckers. <laughs> so lucky. That is so, so rare. Oh my uh, god. Gideon, it is your turn. Uh, he doesn't have much health left. Um, I'm going to step into the circle. See if anything happens. As you step into the circle, you immediately heal <gasps> for 48 health. And the circle oh goes away. Oh, my fucking God. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh Rip. my god. Dang, dude. Well, um, now we know. That was, yeah. <laughs> Could have all star kind of checked that, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Dang. Um, crap. Uh, there's really no reason to waste anything on this little guy. I'm just gonna glacial decay. Little guy. <laughs> He's got uh, 28 health left, and Mordove Handshake is going to body him. Uh, yeah. Just so you know, just so you know, if Glacial Decay is a ranged attack, this is will be a disadvantage since you're attacking in melee range. Got it. Uh, that misses. Okay. Then I plant my feet and say, mm. that's it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, Eleonora, mm. you're next. You already know what I'm about to do, baby. Let's go. That hits. Perish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Tremor, you're up. Tremor uh, steps up. It looks to Eleonora. Hey, after this, uh, can I ask you some questions about that spell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might, I might want to join the Mordo family. <laughs> and then uh, he'll cast Astral Shuffle. Okay. Uh, I believe I need to make an intelligence saving throw. No, or... it's a it's a spell attack. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. I'm clicking. It's not doing anything. You can try roll manually if you'd like, or you can also make sure just make sure you're pressing the red. Oh, there oh, it is. There might be a million spell attacks about to come in. So. Uh, that does not hit. No shucks. Uh, Aelith. Um, uh, 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 wait. Bonus action. I will recover more spell slots. Okay. This is your second one. This is my second one. Yeah. All right. Roll it two, roll it two. Huh. You're good. Ooh. It's going up. All right. I'm going to recover my uh, one second level and. Oh, shit. I only had two second levels I spent. I guess I, I lose the other one or. Uh, if you've got no other slots, yeah, you just you'll it just goes away. Oh, shit. All right. That's it. Uh, all right. Next up is Malcolm, who will attack at a disadvantage because he really can't afford to move everywhere else. Uh, yeah, I'm going for Eleonora for both attacks. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and let's see what this happens here. Oh, I see. Uh, that's a 22. Oh uh, yeah, that hits. And an and a critical miss, so Hell yeah. As 2d6 goes firing towards you, nine points of damage. Twice the damage of his critical hit last round. Oh <laughs> my god. I need to heal real bad. Gideon, you're up. Uh I'm gonna disadvantagely cast Glacial Decay again. Okay. I can't do anything else. Uh that, that hits. Cool. Fifteen. Uh, he just holds out his he head and just lets out this this wailing screech that sounds otherworldly uh, to uh, otherworldly to you guys. Like it doesn't even sound like it comes from Malcolm. As the illusion of the message uh, disappears and dissipates. I <laughs> actually like that, dude. That was nice. What? I've been saying, don't kill Oswin. You have to pay attention. <laughs> uh, kind of busy, Al. You know, we were just teleported somewhere. Why weren't you there? What? You've been here the whole time. No. But you were here the whole time. Your yeah. eyes. Uh, so what yeah. you saw, Al, <laughs> is their <laughs> eyes glaze over for six seconds before they return back. Okay. I'd also let, like to let you know talking is a free action in case you decide to, you know, say anything. Uh, everyone. Check your spell books. We learned a way to stop this creature. Uh, check his, his there's not. There's. Habit. There's. Al. Oh, there's nothing in your spell book. In fact, I mean, check your brain. <laughs> uh, what, what is the spell that I learned? Separation a spell of separation. Is it? Can we look it up in? Uh, it, it, no. Uh, so essentially, what it, it what it allows you to do once you have all the parts is you can cast it on the Nigel Abomination to try and use a sort of like you're still doing damage to him but the damage becomes sort of um non-lethal mm. and once they once the uh target reaches to zero to hit points uh you'll be able to separate successfully uh the mm. three of you have knowledge of this now uh you only have one part though you don't have the full thing yet um okay. al does not have any parts right now 
Okay. So... Do we see what it needs? You're saying it has... We have parts. What do you mean? Uh, I assume it's like... Whenever it's we go back to one of his visions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have to go oh, find the notes. So... Yeah, Tremor will, will yell... I to didn't Al. My Discord broke. Oh. So after uh, I asked that... <laughs> We're are you think, are you back? Yeah, yeah, it's good now. It just keeps cutting out for me. We're saying we think that whenever it's uh, Nigel's turn, he's gonna give us another vision, and we have to oh, listen okay. to it to find gotcha. the thing. So, gotcha, Tremor gotcha. would yell to Al, like, "We have to listen to Nigel's screams. They're telling us what we need to know." Ah, Al's gonna look directly at Tremor. Can I roll an insight check to see if he's telling the truth? Yes, you can. Because from Al's perspective, they just glazed over. Yeah. Uh, from what you're understanding, he doesn't appear to be showing any sort of sign of deceit. What do you mean? Kind of hard to explain. There's a spell in his memory. We need to get it. <laughs> we get trapped in there. We'll no. Die. We'll die here anyway. Not if we stick together. Well, that's why we all need to go into the memories. So the next time Nigel calls out to us, just let him in your head. Seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, I'm not sure why Risk is going again. I, I guess. Don't know. It, yeah. So, uh, we are. Well, here I did the action this round. So that I guess that's his new initiative. Gideon, it is now your turn. Uh, can I make an Arcana check to check the Nigel Abomination health? Yes, you can. Kudiat. Ooh. That'll do. All right. Don't be alarmed. Oh, God. Man, be alarmed. <laughs> oh, my. Oh! Alarming sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I think if we peel off the pieces, it's going to chunk him, too. I think. I'm just nervous about peeling. I I, I want to know if we what happens when we down them, but I, I wanted to check his health first. Um, well, if I'm we separate, use, yeah. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to restore a spell slot. Uh, okay, roll 1d4. You restored uh, three levels, uh, which you may distribute as you choose. I'm just going to do one third level. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take a cue from Eleonora and go for a lightning bolt that hits all of them. Okay. Yeah. Bye, Oswin. <laughs> Bye, Oswin. <laughs> uh, so that would be the, uh, yeah, deck saves us. Uh, so the deck saves a fail. Uh, let me go ahead and see. Boop. Lumi fails. Oswin fails. Or uh, Oswin succeeds. What's your DC? 14? Yeah, 14, yeah. Yeah, Oswin succeeds. Uh, Otto succeeds. Risk fails. And the snake also fails. So what's the damage total? 22? Yep. All right. Let me just real quick put that down right now. Let's re reduce that. All right. That's 11. Uh, oh. Actually, he's supposed to be at this number now. Hold on, my my brain. All right. Uh. Uh. Okay. Oh, holding a second. Sorry. Uh. Oswin still failed the thing. Uh. Bru my slow. So it he gets a minus two to his. Saves. Deck saves. So he would have uh, been at thirteen. So he okay. would have actually failed. Boop. All right. Everyone has taken their uh, damage. Make sure it's 22 or was it? Yeah, 22. Okay. Uh, Al, it is your turn. Um, Eleanor, you're hurt, aren't you? <sighs> yes, I am. I'm going to spend a third level spell slot to heal Eleanor. Thank okay. You. Wow. Uh, 3d8, right? Wow. That's not great. Uh, 9 plus 5, so 14 healing. Okay. 
Uh, and then I'll use my bonus action. Well, I move 10 feet. I'm going to move 10. Uh, sorry, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30. Move back. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, was I? I think I got it. Um, and then I'm going to use a bonus action to uh, regain spell slot. Oh, oh, I thought that was. I thought that was. Uh, oh God! Yeah. Um, That's was it? Is, is this your first or second time we're getting spell slots? Okay, second, so two or higher. You're good. I'm just gonna document your newest thing. All right. Uh, anything else you do, Al? No. Oh, uh, I can use a free action, can't I? Uh, yep. I don't really know about the separation thing, though, do I? Then no one's told me, so I can't really do that. Uh. uh, uh I know you don't uh, even have it, right? You don't, you just, you don't have it, uh, but no, uh, Tremor did. If... Tremor did say it out loud. Can I use the free action to determine like what was the thing? Was it to how they can be separated or like it, or what happens when they die? Wasn't that the yeah. thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can I use that on Oswald to see what happens if he was to fall down? Yep. Uh, if they drop to zero hit points, they become inactive, but they do not die unless the abomination dies. Okay. And that's Nigel, basically. He's like the main. Yeah. So. Okay. Kind of Al works that when he looks at Oswin, looks across, like glares at Gideon. You can attack Oswin. Huh. He won't die. I'm glad you <laughs> checked beforehand, though. Oh. Looks back. Uh, next up is Lumi. Oh boy. Oh, everyone's nice and separated this time. Good. Uh, I'm just checking some. No, yeah, pretty far. Pretty Are those far. knives still popping off? Oh no, nah. they they ended. That was just yeah, Moved that was the it. action. Gotcha. Um, if we have any way of pushing though, that would be swell because then we hit them all again. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go for knives. Are coming towards Gideon, the last person to cast the spell. Make a dexterity saving throw. As more knives appear to stab, you're good. Ooh. You take no damage. Nice. Noise. Uh, Eleanor. Okay. Um, so it's bonus action to recover a spell slot, right? Correct. Um, and then if I wanted to heal, is that my main action? Yep. Okay. So I'll do I'll do that then. So I'd like to heal myself. What does that cost me again? Uh, spell slot. Depends on okay. what spell slot you use. Depends on how much you heal. Okay. Um, I'll use a first level spell slot. All right, 1d8 plus your intelligence modifier. Okay. And I get to roll. Nice. Oh, it's you're you're good. Seven plus eight, I believe. Right? Yeah. Yep. Foggy. Okay. Wait, plus eight? Wait, sorry, uh, that's, that's not right. Five, 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 five. Okay, yeah, yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> nice. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Okay, I'm at max hit points. Um, okay. And then, yeah, I would like to try to recover spell slot. So 1d4. Uh, yep. And I, is this your first time doing it or your first second? time doing it? Okay. You got four sick. Uh, you have four levels to spend. Sweet. Do one third and um, one second. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, do you move at all? Um, uh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> All right. By the way, I'm just going to go ahead and move everyone here so I can keep track mm -hmm. of hit points better. Our babies. Bubbles. Haha, <laughs> babies, but I hope they don't die. Uh, oh. All right. Let me just real quick record everyone's hit points. Wait, hold on. Uh, what the? Uh, okay. Uh, next up is the snake, Eleanor, who will once again spit acid, uh, this time, or spit venom, uh, towards Gideon. Please make a constitution saving throw. That might not be... Oh, you just met it. You're good. Bizarre. All right, Tremor, it's your turn. Um, all right, I had a question about the spell Acid Spray, which uh -huh. we got from 
the Academy, mm -hmm. uh, it's a second level spell, mm -hmm. but there is no upcast version of it, like every other spell. I was just right. wondering if that was just never made, or if it just, you know, is only... Uh, the, uh, uh, cur currently, there's no upcast version of it. It's just second, okay. always second level. Then I will cast a uh, Scorching Ray. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to do an Arcana check to see if... Uh, I want to see if the familiars have their finale moves. Uh, they've been using their finale moves. Firing Every knife single storm. round? Well, firing knife, yep. Firing knife storm right. is a finale mood, and it used it twice. Yikes. All right. Well, I'm going to be checking the health of auto then. Okay. <laughs> My boy. Let's see that roll. 26. That'll do it. Uh, boom, boom. Oh, oh, there it is. Tremor's Tr Tr gonna make eye contact with him and be like, I'm sorry, and unleash uh, a second level scorching ray. Okay. Um, so that is gonna be one. Oh, wait, that's the that's the uh, damage. 11 does not hit. Oh, 11, fuck. Um, Two more. Three rays, yeah, yeah, okay. So one, two. Is that even with minus two AC? Three. Uh, yes, with minus two AC, yep. So eight damage and 10 damage if those two hit. Yep, and they make contact. And then he's gonna run five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, next up is Otto, who will once again attempt to heal Oswin with Healing Gust. Healing for 11. And that ability was so broken, and it gave advantage. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's oh. broken. Oh, oh. That's why I'm saying we gotta take him out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's gotta die. And now I'm gonna roll a, it's a wisdom save, correct? Uh, Al? Um, yes, please. If it'll be day 16, get the 16 or all that. I heard it, but I didn't see it. Oh, there it is, 11. Oh. So there you oh, go. You heard it both times, nice. Okay, yeah. that's good pass. <laughs> Weird, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that as slowed. Uh, Oswin will uh, once again get the AC up to two again for the uh, uh, abomination with shell armor. Is that stack? Uh, no, they do not. It's one per round. Yep. Uh, you have to roll his save as well. Yep. Wisdom save. Eleven again. <laughs> okay. Let's wow. the only ones there. Uh, the abomination will move five feet uh, and let out a screeching call again. Do you do you accept the charges? Yes, I'll accept the charges. Yes. Yell to me. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me get you guys over. This time you're over on this side. Give me one moment. Nigel will once again appear as you see Malcolm walking up over in this area that you were at before and Nigel will be following along they're walking you kind of see Malcolm just blowing off Nigel right now. He's just not let he's just kind of like moving forward and Nigel's just 
He's he, uh, Malcolm's moving with purpose, and Nigel's just trying to follow along. Um, and Nigel steps forward. The the illusionary Nigel steps forward, and he turns around to the four of you. We continued down this hallway until we began to hear an, an echo. The screams of panicked students. And then what I truly saw alarmed me the greatest. And then you see within the apparition appear Instructor Venaway and another instructor that you have not yet met yet. Malcolm kind of walks around the corner and then just stops and hides. Nigel over here continues to walk. Uh, Malcolm then it holds him back. And you just kind of just hear over here in this tunnel, which you recall as the area that the um, that automaton with the students on it was, as you just hear this panic screams coming from there. Venaway kind of gives a sigh at that point and, uh, and says, Instructor Malira, what happened here? How, how did, how did this happen? Malira gives a sigh. Hmm. I'm, I'm uncertain. These are definitely year one students. I'm I don't know why they wandered down here to the difficult path, to the harder pathway for year two and, and three students. What did you recognize when you were coming up here? Was there anything different with the bells? And then away just kind of has this like aha moment before he like disappears. He vanishes in a puff of red smoke. And then returns back once again. The bells have been changed. Um, what is everyone doing while this is happening, by the way? Um, can Al, have, yeah. so having kind of grown up as an illusionist, yeah. can I do like an investigation to see if this is a memory or if it's an illusion? Come yes. To ascertain if this was real. Please. Uh, you can also do an Arcana check if you do not feel confident oh, with your sorry. investigation. I mean, okay, yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, you feel that you are definitely in a memory. Okay. Yeah. Now. Uh, uh, then away appears again and says the. The barrels are, are different. They've, I, I didn't set them up that way. Someone must have moved them. When I find out who did, uh, and Melira just kind of holds up a finger to Benaway's lips and says, "An investigation isn't necessary. Move the barrels back." Benaway is taken back as he steps back a little bit. What good would that do? M Malira just kind of sighs a little bit. The Exodus Academy is already steeped in constant questioning from Ishtar if our, our purpose is even necessary. The last thing they need to know is that a mistake was made on our part. These were simple year one students who thought they were too good for instruction. And that's a story that we can sell. A tragedy we can pitch to the people of Ishtar and to the students. It will only motivate them more. Benaway looks down for a moment. Well then, what will, what are we to do with, with, and almost to say them. Melira continues, nope. Allow me to handle it. 
My son has been empty on souls for quite some time. And I'm pretty certain you can put the bodies to use as well in your little workshop. Venaway gives a nod. We shouldn't let the headmaster know. Melira nods as well. Yes, let's not trouble the headmaster with this. Switch the barrels back. Go back to bed. I'll handle it. As I always do. Venaway nods before he disappears in a, a puff of red smoke. Uh, what are the four of you doing? Tremor's been, like, avoiding his gaze the whole time. Kind of trying not to... He's listening, but it's hard. Um, Al's gonna cast Minor Illusion. And he's gonna create a sound from behind the tutor. Actually, I don't know if I can do it from that range. Let me just check. Uh, it's only 30 feet, so it'd actually be kind of more coming from ahead of her. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like a, a sound just out of the, the midair. Wait, but this isn't... Hmm? Uh, never mind. Go ahead. Well, we can uh, react to it, can't we? Is it... Uh, this... I don't think this is happening live. This is a memory. I think he's trying to test to see. What... Oh, okay. Got you. Yeah. The sound is muffled. And no one seems to react to it. Okay. N Nigel, is that your mom? <laughs> That's a fair question. Yeah. He, it's true. He looks over to Gideon and shakes his head. No, but she is a faithful follower of, I believe at this point, of, of my father. Your father is who? The old headmaster. Head oh, right. Jinx, you me so to hell. <laughs> I didn't bring any silver with me. Wait, have we ever heard Nigel, like, talk candidly about his dad at all? Nope. No, no. Nope. Okay. What... What is your relationship with your father? He lets out a sigh. It's something I don't enjoy talking about, but... At this point, there really is no need for secrets. My father was the headmaster of the old academy. He disappeared from my life when he was very young right after my mother went into a coma mm. I haven't seen him for eight nine years now I always assume How old are you? what year did we agree like 13 14 yeah I think like 13 yeah oh. yeah he's 14 I okay. thought he was six. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down a little bit at that remark. No, 14. Memories of my father are few and far between. And then he turns back to the instructor, begins to walk forward a little bit. Something about her wasn't right that she was an instructor it's I didn't recognize her face at first but now I know why why is it uh, why is an ally of my father an instructor at, at the academy no, no we're not safe no one's safe don't don't trust the academy and then she she looks at the rest of you before he says again, don't trust the academy. And he disappears again as she goes on the offensive. Oh, boy. Ha. The battle continues. Tremor looks at Al to see if he's actually going to fight the memory of a professor <laughs> or if he's about to stab us. <laughs> you see him. Lower his glasses, wipe them, put them back on instead. Defiantly at the professor. Oh. 
Uh, you see her gaze become almost lifeless as she steps forward a little bit. Um, and she holds out a red bolt that is reminiscent of the day energies that you've been seeing and tosses it over to whoever's the closest, which in this case would be Tremor. I make a uh, DC saving throw of your choice. Uh, For some reason, wisdom is my... Oh, no, no, that's not right. Intelligence is my highest. Okay. You succeed as a 1d8 of electricity damage comes over to you, uh, but you withstand the blow. Uh, next, the uh, damage increases further. Next round, it will be 2d8. Mm, and, good then, Lord. and then every round, an additional d8 that continuously stacks. Gideon, it is your turn. I, I am going to make an arcana check to check her health. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, and then I think I will just... Uh, use my bonus action to recover spell slot. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you also <laughs> feel, you feel the presence of the healing circle in the notes. They, oh, yeah. they may, but however, they may, they appear to be out of view. But they're somewhere close by. Okay. Uh, let me see real quick. All right, we're doing roll 1d20. You're good. Hey, right, I'm going to recover number, a second level. Number you need second. to beat is three next time. Gotcha. I'll recover a second level, and I will go for a, see if I'm close enough. Yeah, I'm going to Acid Sprayer. Okay. Uh, so DC 13. Dexterity. Uh, ooh. Aww. Oh. Uh, is it half? Yeah, it's half. All right. So she takes eight points of damage. Al, it's your turn. Uh, He's going to step up. I don't find teachers. But you seem to be a fraud. So check. Oh. That's 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 development, right? <laughs> Five <Sort> fail, right? <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> she pulls out I think he's developed a lot. Yeah. She pulls out a badge of her certification. <laughs> oh, well <laughs> turns to face us. I she fails. Uh, okay. Ten points of psychic damage. Okay. Anything else? And minus minus four in your next saving throw. Okay. Eleonora. Zippity zap. Uh, that misses. Uh, Eleanor, do you move? Uh, do you do anything else this round? You're also mute, by the way. Oops, sorry. Um, what, uh, if I move, is it an attack of op for her? Uh, yes. Yeah, so no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, no, no I guess that's it. Okay. Tremor. Tremor is freaking pissed. And he's gonna start walking as he walks he's gonna cast magic missile on her and he's gonna like growl what are you doing with their souls even though he knows that she's a memory right he's like freaking po dude mm -hmm. Let's see it's one two three four uh, five, eight, 13 damage. All right. That end your round? Um, I mean, I think he would try to Arcana check to see if he can determine where the notes might be for this, uh, memory. If okay. Possible. Yeah, I like that. 
Boom. Ah, you can't. You're unable to tell with that Archon check, but keep trying. He will trying. encourage his friends to do the same. Mm -hmm. Uh, Melira goes. Uh, and... Okay. We'll take a five-foot step back. You can do an Zap. attack of up. <laughs> oh, Zap. oh, yeah. Not oh, so fast. Oh, what? actually, she doesn't do that. Oh. She poofs in a in, in a in a as red smoke appears and then would reappear uh actually 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. right over here as it, behind you yeah <laughs> exactly and that's exactly what it is she disappears in a puff of red smoke appears over there and it does not provoke an attack of opportunity as she throws a day bolt over to eleonora what? Make a DC 14 saving throw of your choice. This is for oh. 2d8 fire damage if you fail. Tremor okay. hmm. you're, you're good. You're good. You tried. Gideon, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to cast Glacial Decay because I've learned my lesson. Okay. Uh, and it is going to be 17 to hit. Uh, that hits. Josh 14 points 14. of damage. I will encourage you all to think about the notes. And then I'm going to run five. Actually, I'll go here first, and then I will try to hot and cold the notes. Okay, roll an Arcana check. You sense that the notes are over in this direction. Then I will use the rest of my 25 feet to go right here. That's just the heating, right? And my turn. No, uh, the notes help us separate them. Oh, the notes, of course. Yeah. And then there right. is yeah. a healing circle. Yeah, there is there a healing well. circle, too. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, That's Eleonora, magical. you're next. Magical note. Oh, let's try this shit again. Boops are on the nose. <laughs> I, I clicked it and nothing <laughs> happened. Oof. Oh, Critical wow. miss. I'm struggling right now. Um, well, I may as well uh, chip, uh, blah, blah, blah. bonus uh, action to recover spell slot for the uh, second time. Uh, yeah, you're free to do so. Achoo. You voted four. I time. know. Wow. All right, you're good. You recover those spell All slots. All right, hell's yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, Brad, did you skip my turn? Uh, I did. I'm sorry, Al. You're next. That's that's okay. Uh, I was going to cast. I'm going to cast uh, Scorching Ray on her. Uh, okay. Level. 16 to hit. That hits. And the first one. And then, sorry, it was not letting me miss it three times. And then. Boom. That second hits, and they all hit. As nice. three Scorching Rays goes over towards her. 21 points of fire damage, uh, and then can you use my bonus action, please, to restore, if I can. Ah, oh, man, ones both times. Um, oh, you're racking up these numbers. Yeah, I'm on, that was my third time doing it. Yep. You're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just closer to danger. Uh, does that end your turn? Uh, 5, 10, 15. He's going to kind of spread around make sure she can't get away uh next up is tremor magic missile hell yeah get her yeah one two uh wait two three four all right and then i'm going to roll my bonus action to recover spell slots big gambles Hey, we'll keep rolling until we see a really bad thing happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I think this is my third time. Yep. Next roll is if I have to roll higher than a four before wild magic comes out. Maybe and then he going to do a run. One, two, three, four, wait, five, six. Right? Yep. And he will point and he will say, notes, notes, notes. And magic healing circle. And magic healing circle, magic healing circle. What are those for? You wouldn't understand. It's the spell oh of separation we told you about. 
Out. Try to keep up. Out. A puff of red smoke and shoots a day bolt uh, over at uh, Tremor. Tremor, make a saving throw for three D uh, or take three D eight psychic Critical. damage. Mm -hmm. You're good. With my crit, I redirect it at her. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gideon, it's your turn. DM says no. No. Uh, I'm going to five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and then I'm going to use my action to do double movement and grab the notes. You've grabbed the notes. Everyone has received memories of separation on another part. Uh, and Al, you are now as knowledgeable as everybody else about the spell of separation. Yay. How ah. many, how many note like parts do we feel like there are from, from that? Uh, you are less than half of your, the way there. Oh God. Oh, God. Uh, I use all my movement and then I just have my turn. Uh, okay. Al, it's your turn. Um. 5, 10, 15. Check. Intelligent saving throw. Plus. Uh, she also has a minus D4 for it, right? Yep. She has a minus D4, she fails, yeah. For a saving throw. Uh, failed. Oh, she doesn't, no, she doesn't have it for the uh, thing. Well, it's, it's still, a, it's still, time. it's still a 12, so. Yeah. Ow. Dang. damage. You do have a minus D4 thing. Also, I would like to roll a D4, please. You're insane. <laughs> Look, dude, I need those spells for somebody low. You're good. I'm good. Five or lower now. Uh, Eleonora, you're next. All right. I'm going to make this Check work. Her Check her up. Oh my god, what is going on? You need me to wolf howl. That cheer you up. I have Ow. plus eight. What is going on? Uh, do Ow. Um, do you <laughs> move at all or no? I mean, no, I don't want an attack of op. So all right. no. All right. No. Why is DM, why is DM trying to bait us? What the heck? Are you yeah. sure you don't uh, want to move? Uh, hey, I'm not what trying to bait. I'm just saying it's up to you. Uh, Tremor, it's your turn. Me, <laughs> It's me turn. It's your turn. Uh, Trenna. Does anyone want to hit her with something she has to dodge? She might fail. You got it. You're going to pop in there and get the circle. <laughs> 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 All right. You heal for 24 health. All right. I'm back to full. Um, And then he's going to go. Uh, Wait, what did Al say? Something about making me making her judge. If she if she has to do the same third, essentially, he's telling you oh. she's got most. Uh, he doesn't really have many of those spells. Um, meow. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna magic missile again. Okay. It's the safest. It's gonna move up to there, and then one, uh, two, three, six, four. nine, thirteen points of damage. She is down to six health. Oh. Sure. Peers over there and shoots a uh, day bolt at Tremor again. Make a saving throw or take 46 fire damage. Or 48, oh, no. excuse me. No. Oh, no. 30 oh, points just... of fire damage. Oh, oh my what God. What is that damage? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. You take that back. That's <laughs> evil. <laughs> he just comes away from a healing circle and just gets set on fire. Yeah, that uh, sucks. I'm on, I'm on eight health. Uh, 5d8 uh, next round. Next, uh, Gideon, you're up. Glacial decay. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. That hits. I don't know why it went. I don't know. Oh, for no, it's just six for exactly two. as. Exactly as you need it. Nice. The illusion, be the illusion uh, begins to disappear as you return back to the fight. Ah, we're back to reality. Tremor's not looking so hot. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. 
Uh, going back. Uh, next up is Risk. I have to go through all this. Sorry. Uh, next up is Risk. He will. Oh no! Never mind. Hold on one second. Let me get us back to Wait, where we you... were. Uh, okay, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah we return after the Nigel Abomination round. Risk does mm -hmm. another howl, um, allowing him to move thirty feet until the end of his next round. Uh, next up is Gideon. Uh, I am going to roll a D four to recover spell slots. All right. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the thing. Is that your third time doing it? That's yep. my third time. Yeah. Yep. Now on four or, or yep. All right. You good? You restore three levels. And then I'm just gonna lightning bolt with that recovered spell slot. Ooh! Big damage. That is some huge damage. Wow! Holy fuck! Let's go I ahead. am blue though. Uh, that means you. Lightning. Well, that means you critically hit and critically miss with a number usually. That's how it displays okay. that. When you oh, have wow. one, ones and max, I don't know why they do it either. But uh, yeah, that's what they do. All right. Well, you know, red and green makes blue. True. True. <laughs> oh, not. <laughs> I'm rolling everyone. Up. Oh, everyone's failing. This is good. This is good damage. Oh, uh, Otto's almost down with that. Uh, what's your DC again, Gideon? 14. All right, so Otto. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. Yep, he oh, fails. Yeah, yeah. He fails, he fails too. too. Uh, risk succeeds. That makes sense. <laughs> he's so cool. He just, well, he just knows his daddy's throwing lightning, so he's got a dodge. All right, let me get everyone. Let me get those numbers down. Nice, dude. Uh, what damage is that? 34. 34. All right. Everyone but risk, right? Who gets? 17? Yeah, the, the, the full amount. Uh, Otto goes down. I mean, no. Oswin, right? Or Oswin, excuse me. Oz. Uh. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> Fair Prince. Hey, we're going to want to take out Otto before it's his turn. I'm telling you Don't that much. much. Your boy's got this. uh okay yeah you kind of see the snake just kind of like begin to like dr or not the snake uh the snail drape down over the body again as it goes and as it appears to go limp mm. <laughs> oh. al it's your turn i've always wanted to do this he says under his breath one scorching ray over towards uh auto please okay um i mean if you miss that misses one that misses Third, oh my they God. all oh missed. My they all missed. missed. They oh all missed. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Steps his foot. Um, oh, can I use my bonus action to do the spell slot? Don't judge me. Yes. Nice. He's gambling with fate, dude. You just want to roll the number. You just want to see what the wild match is going to do, huh? Something told me pushed away. All right, you're still good. Oh, yeah. You're still good. Um, can I ascertain uh, free action to ascertain risk self? Uh, yes, you can. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. You guys go before also, don't you? Okay, good. <laughs> that would be so shitty. Nope, still pretty far. Uh. Uh, you guys are split up. Man, you guys are so smart. Uh, firing knife storm. Uh, at Gideon. Roll a dexterity saving throw. That's three times Gideon. on me. <laughs> you can't. It doesn't matter though. W. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw. N and we're not slow. All oh, right. No, Lumi was never slow. L Lumi well, well now Lumi's extra and not slow. Ah. He's super fast. <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor, it's your turn. I'll do the Arcana check to check Lumi's health. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. You know you have to do it, Eleanor. What? You, ha you know you have to do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that wasn't in character. Yeah. Um, 
what? So if I I want to try to aim for auto specifically with lightning bolt, but I don't care if other ones get hit too. That's great. Would love that. Uh, you can arch your lightning bolt to hit everybody if you'd like. I will do that. Nigel is the big big health. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that then. Poggy. Uh. Ooh. All right. Let's see what we got. Nigel failed. Lumi failed. Otto uh, minus two right now. So failed. Three, yeah, yeah, failed. <laughs> That's a third fifteen he's wrong. Risk failed. Eleanor failed. Nice. Nice. Bro. A bunch of failures over there. Almost killed all of them actually. Uh as They all go, except risk, down. As Otto falls limp, right. a reaction is cast. Oh, Otto, oh, no. Otto uses his second life to instead restore himself to full health. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> How many of those does he get? Proud dad moments. You don't know. Maybe an arcana check in the future may tell you. I will arcana check right now. <laughs> Tremor, you're up. Is what, this what's the deal up? with that? Second life can only be used once, either on himself when he's knocked unconscious okay. for the first time, or on another part of. The 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 abomination. The worst one it could have happened to as well, because he can just heal. Yeah. Oh, we gotta kill him quick. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Tremor will cast a third level healing spell on himself, so he doesn't die. All right. So it's what two, three, d eight, three, d eight. Plus four. Wow, that was close. That was close. Because he was at five, right? Or was he at four? Well, well the healing and the spell don't share the same numbers. So. Separate table. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Do you do and anything else? And he will recover his <laughs> spell slot. Oh, wow. Oh Look at these guys. Hey, hey. You're good. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're good. Does a crit mean that my DC lowers a game? No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to run 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, yeah, that's good. Hey, you want to hear something funny? Eleanor is going to spit poison at Eleonora. I thought uh -huh. Eleanor was down. Uh -huh. JK, Eleanor is down. Uh, hey! Ignore what I said. That's the funniest thing. That's super funny. Haha, <laughs> super funny. That was a good setup for that. That's good. Yeah, uh, anyways. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. I just read a sign. It says, as a reaction, when Otto has dropped to zero points, slow yeah. means he can't take reactions. Oh! Then he oh. is uh, immediately, st he's still down. Yeah! Al, oh, you're the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, Al. That's right. That is a reaction. That is correct. He can't. He can't use that reaction to get him up. So it literally Man. keeps him down. Uh, J.K. All right. Uh, next up is the abomination, who will whisper sweet nothings into your ear. I listen. All right. Bring him in. Here we go. You hear the voice of. Of, of of Nigel as you are going in to this area. I was surprised and, and shocked to just see Malcolm leap into the ac action. <laughs> he said if there was that we were the only ones that would be able to save the students if the instructors were going to let them die. I was scared and terrified, but I followed him because I knew it was the right thing. We've got to hurry, quick. 
Um, and Nigel just goes, the, 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 the teachers, the, the, the instructors, they would just, just let them die? They would just let us die? I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain of what it means. What? If they're going to do that, it's not honorable at all. It doesn't speak well for their high-class name. And perhaps this is the test I, I needed. To really... He looks down a little bit and shakes his head. It doesn't matter either way. We're the only ones here. Nigel, if you're too scared, I understand. You can leave if you if you if you must. Malcolm or uh, Nigel just shakes his head. If if it's what you say is true, then you're gonna need all the help that you can get. I'm not I'm not leaving. I'm the only witness as well. He looks down a little bit, and he uh. The illusion just kind of looks over to the four of you and said, I remember this moment because I thought to myself, what would you all do in this situation? And, and I feel like you would have done what was right. You would have moved forward. You would have pushed forward. If you were given the information that I was given. And I knew that's what I had to do as well. Um, what do the four of you do or, or say? Um, Tremor's going to take out the, uh, the red scarf that he had taken from Nigel right before when he last saw him. That was the last thing that they, the exchange they had. Mm -hmm. And he's going to like look up to him and say like, you are one of us. We're still with you. Um, Eleonora, do you say or do anything? What's Eleonora doing during all this? Um, she would just be watching, taking it in. Um, she's honestly not sure what she would have done in this situation. So she's kind of just thinking to herself rather than sharing. Gideon? Uh, I'm kind of looking at, well, yes, I'm looking at Al and just seeing if he believes this information that Nigel's sharing about the school. Just trying to get a read on him if he's, if he's like come to realize yet what we've realized. And Al. I, I would say Al has kind of a, quite a, a poker face, but not intentionally. Hmm. Uh, he kind of has a lot of his emotions on the inside, so he... He's kind of just watching. This is he's the quietest, quietest he's been. He's paying uh, an immense amount of attention to what's going on. Right. We have to fight this fucking thing. Oh my god. Oh no. When we, when I heard the sound, I I, I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what she meant by his son. It was at that point that I finally came to the conclusion, the realization that puts a pit to my stomach. Oh, a horrific finality. It's been minutes since we've been down here and we haven't heard the scream of one student the hallways were silent, and yet all we could hear is this giant automaton walk its way. I saw them there, the bodies of the students. I remember and recall what the instructor said, that her son needed souls. He was running on empty. I couldn't believe it for myself when Malcolm stepped back. He said one word that still chills me to my very bones. Run. And he grabs, uh, he grabs Nigel's arm and then just begins pulling him away. 
Um, as before he does that, Nigel just pulls over. Malcolm turns around. What? What are you doing? And Nigel just says, "We we have to do something. We have to save him." At that point, you see Nigel hold out his arms as a red mist begins to hover over it. As he begins to cast a spell, this begins to glow uh, blue before he starts taking steps as if to charge towards Nigel. It's at this moment you see only one thing emerges from the automaton as Ellie's spirit is ripped out and almost heads in to Nigel he continues to cast we we have to save them saving them will do you no good if you're dead now come and he just pulls Nigel into the darkness It's at this moment that the automaton stops. His eyes flare red. And he stares over at the four of you. All right. It's time. Uh Good play. <clears throat> Uh, give me one moment. Uh, okay. Let me just go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, top of the round, Gideon. Um... I would like to make an arcana check to try to hot and cold some notes. Okay. Uh, as you do so, you would see the healing circle and the notes appear behind the automaton. Hmm. Fun. Um, just read this spell really quick. Okay. Uh, I am going to cast Mirror Image, uh, which will make a duplicate of me and that will move with me and look like me and talk like me and walk like me. And anytime a creature tries to target me, they have to roll a d20 to determine which one to attack. Uh, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to make a run for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm just gonna run right down the middle. Oh shit. Hero. Oh. Al, it's your turn. Um Can I ascertain how much health this thing has as a react trial? <laughs> yes you can. You're unable to <laughs> determine its health. Okay. Um then I shall I can't get a read on this thing. I'm a magic missile! Ah, uh, sorry. Sometimes when I press the thing, it just like brings up a little bit. Yeah, no worries. That is that's some decent rolls. Those are good. Nine, 13, 18 points of arcane damage, and a bread. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna restore <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> You can hear him slobbering. He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> it's going to go all the way up to 19. You're just going to keep rolling 20. Uh, does that end your round? Um, actually, and then I've then Yeah, here. Yeah. All right. Okay. He just charges forward and goes in for the slams. Uh, so I have to roll a d20. I read this wrong. 
and I created three illusory duplicates of myself. Mm -hmm. And if I roll a six or higher, you hit one of the duplicates. Perfect. So the first attack hits one of the duplicates and that goes away. So now what's mm -hmm. the number? Cause it's attacking again. Yep. Now it's going to be an eight or higher. All right. Baka. It hits you, uh, but does 11 break your armor class? No, no, no. Then you're good. Next round, Eladora. Okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna just try to save spell slots and boop this boy. Why is it not working? Does that hit? Uh, that hits. 19 Augie. points nice. of damage. Is that enter rounds? Yeah. Um, we already are kind of checked to see the papers, right? They're right ahead of us. Yep. And then, okay. Yeah, that's it then. You can check health. health. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arcana check to check health. Okay. Bring. It's just ah. covered by darkness. I guess you'll never see it. Ha ha ha. Uh, Tremor, it's your turn. Oh boy. Um, Tremor's gonna like, for his item interaction, I was wondering if he could like, feel for the the jar or the vial with, with El's, uh, or Ellie's uh, soul in it and see if it's like resonating at all. Uh, it <laughs> doesn't appear to be reacting to the room, but she is still there. Okay. Um, I think that comforts him a little bit, and he's going to uh, try to recall the notes that he had taken from Headmaster Levin mm -hmm. when he, he was basically instructed what this monster was and what its weaknesses might be. Make an intelligence saving throw. Saving throw. Mm-hmm. While the notes do not assist you... No, let me, let me rephrase this. The notes give you comfort as you're inside an illusionary memory. You now have advantage on all attack rolls against this creature because it is simply a memory attacking you. Mm, okay. I will also say uh, that because you came to this realization, you can share to everyone that they can all make intelligence saving throws to get the same thing. All right. Nice. He'll say, don't fear this creature. This is our time. <laughs> he's going to cast uh, Astral Shuffle at advantage. Mm -hmm. That hits. Um, for 2d10, I think it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one. Two. Mm -hmm. And it does not have a reaction for the next round. Okay. Does that end your round? Um, I think he'll back up by Al. Okay. Gideon, it's your turn. Uh, I am going to 5, 10, 15. It has no reaction, so you're free to leave. Yeah, 25, 30. <laughs> uh, and then sprint. Uh, actually, that's just, no, I'm still going to sprint, yeah. Uh, 20, uh, 30. Okay, that's all my movement. I'm okay. Shimmer sees the healing thing and his eyes glow <laughs> in pain. Please. Alice, Please. your turn. Um, okay. Al's going <clears> to <throat> try and do the intelligent saving throw. Okay. Uh, in this memory, all attack rolls have advantage. Ha. Five, ten. Time for this to work, hopefully. Uh, Scorching Ray. Uh, with advantage, right? So this yep. is the first one. That hits. Um, second one coming up. That hits. Third one coming up. And that hits. All right, so that'd be, uh, I imagine. I, be... I uh, took whatever the damage to the rolls, so whatever the highest yeah. rolls were, were the damage, yep. Oh, okay, cool, sweet. Um, Any, anything else? And then... I hear it. I, just, I hear him laughing. laughing. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. You know what I'm doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
He can't keep getting away <laughs> with this! <laughs> and then hide behind the wall. <laughs> <laughs> what am I up to? Like, How many is he up to like now? Seven? Eight is the number oh, that. Okay. So Holy if fuck. I roll eight or lower, wild magic happens. I love that he also ran next to me to do it just to blow up like he's doing <laughs> like Uh, alright. I like. <laughs> Gideon made mirror images to be tanky and then left. <laughs> does a 13 or 14 break your armor class, oh. Eleanor? I think it does. Uh, I don't think so, because I still have mage armor. Yep. So I think it's at a 16, I think. Then you're good. Yeah. And it, is, it is your turn. All right. Oh, wait, can I do the intelligence saving? Sorry to get advantage. Uh, yes, you can. Oh, I almost forgot. Yep. And you have okay. advantage now. Okie nice. That 24 is a hit. Oh, yeah. For, oh. Damn, oh. son. Nice. Now, here's the thing. And the notes. Oh, my God. Oh, we God. didn't get the notes. You have, oh, you have one round uh, at the beginning okay. of Eleanor's next turn. This memory is going to collapse. Eleanor, what else do you do? Um, I would just scream, get the notes, quick. That's it. Tremor. <laughs> Can you get to are, the right? circle? Ugly sprint. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 16. No! <laughs> Do we know where they are? Yeah, they're right here. Yeah, they're, Gideon, they're right ahead them. of Gideon, yeah. Gideon. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, 10, 20, 30. And then 35. You get the notes. You've gained uh, a piece <laughs> of the spell. You can just get the healing thing. I know, but I'm at max. Can I like? <laughs> can I use a rope and pull Tremor through the no. healing circle? Well, you can lasso. Uh, and that's drag. Jesus. Uh, Very make, high DC. Make a make an athletics check. 30. 30. 30 I'm, I'm, I'm I, saying uh, I better see a crit roll on this. I have a negative one. <laughs> we uh, gave you the, the chance. Uh, <laughs> Al. We've got the notes, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, Tremble yeah, to I'm Al. Gonna... Push me! You move 15 feet, you're like, that's it. My, my turn's over. That's a long way to go. <laughs> um... <laughs> Al's gonna use up a spell slot to, to heal himself. Just one. Okay. Um, a little hurt from early, you know, sometimes. Okay, eight. Yeah. I, I, I can hear um, it in his fucking voice. <laughs> uh, and, uh, well, you know, sometimes you just need a spell slot. Well, oh. for, first of all, the healing. Oh, the healing triggered it. The healing triggers it, and. Oh. So does that. Two magic oh, effects go off. No, my God. Okay, let's do it. Let's oh, do boy. It. Oh boy. Let's do it. Uh, oh boy. Uh, one. Off this. He teleports to a different plane of existence. Oh god. Oh god. And he throws uh, abomination one legs. Two. Any one of jinx these. It. Do not jinx it. For the healing. Oh, it's a D100 too. Yeah. Uh, you are frightened by the nearest creature until the end of your next round. So you are frightened by <laughs> Eleonora. Eleonora. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's true. True. Why, Al? <laughs> Something about your massage. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is also not good. A spell of confusion is uh, casted on yourself. Okay. Please make uh, the spell assaults and twists your mind, spawning delusions and provoking uncontrolled action. Uh, each creature within a 10 foot radius, so Eleanor included. Uh, oh, no, choose oh within range must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Uh, what is your DC saving throw, Al? Uh, 16. All right, I need the two of you to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, Eleonora, you may. Uh, El no, Eleanor, you failed. I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, Al's good. <laughs> Eleanor's confused. So what target, does that mean? You can't take reactions. You must roll like D10 at the start of your turn to determine your behavior for that turn. It's what pretty the bad. Fuck out. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got fighting of you and you got. Am I aware that it. this happened like in character? Oh yeah, no. You're just you're bewildered, confused. Uh, you you think 
you just your mind is spawning delusions and so in I, I can't your... even yell at Al for doing it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Uh, you can. I, I, I mean, all you know is illusions are and delusions are attacking you now. Okay. All right. Tremor, from Tremor's perspective, he ran to the thing. He couldn't make it. He turned to Al. Push me! And he looks back and Al's running away from <laughs> Eleonora. And Eleonora is like fucking <laughs> looking at imaginary things. Yeah. All right. Not great. Not okay. great at all. All right, here we go. We return back. I'm so sorry. It's okay. But it's not. It's fine, but fuck. Bree says it's fine. Eleanor says, what the fuck, dude? Uh, I think Grisk is the only one alive, right? Yep. Yep. He howls. Uh, the uh, abomination moves 30 feet. It can move 30, up to 30 feet. Gideon, it's your turn. Uh, um, I'm going to go for just a first level magic missile. Okay. What are you, what are you and aiming at? I am targeting risk for the okay. first two. Basically until it, uh, takes him down. Okay. And there he goes. And then I'll do the other two at big boy, Nigel. Okay. All right. Then I will roll 1d4. Oh, everyone's gambling now. Everybody's gambling now. All right. Uh, you're good. You just yep. made it. You just Ooh. made it. Uh, Al, you are now frightened by Eleonora. You cannot get any. You cannot get uh, close to her. So business as usual. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nothing changed. Uh. Um, uh, so Rook just went down, right? Yep. Brisk went down. Um, so we still got the snake, right? Nope, snake's nope. down too. Everyone's oh, down. So it's only the abomination. Yep. Yep. And we don't want to kill this thing, do we? Nope. But we won't. I mean, if you um, can go ahead and tear 486 health in one round, I'd like to see you try. We basically just got to kill time until we get all the notes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to... I was going to cast Silent Image. Um, and he's going to create a 15 foot cube in front of it. Okay. And it's going to be, um, it's going to be a giant, uh, squeaky toy. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, just something to try to distract it. Uh, pfft. oh, okay. Actually, let's go with giant version of that 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 known professor for the fun of it. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of you. Over here. I'm proud of you. <laughs> uh, Eleonora. Please oh, roll. Sorry. There. Where? Right in Where? front of him. Oh, okay. 1d10, right? Yes, please. Oh! You can act and move normally this round. Wow. Thank fucking God. All right. But you are still um, confused, so you'll have to make a wisdom save at the end of your round to try and break through it. Okay. Um, I mean, so now we're just pretty much waiting until Nigel's turn, right? To be able to go get a memory and get the notes, right? Yeah. Because all the other... down the health, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Um, I will do a lightning bolt. Damn, how many of these? <laughs> well, I've, I've regen, I've rolled four yeah. twice for my regen of spell slots, so. Jeez Louise. Yeah, magical. And I just added normal. <laughs> <laughs> 25 damage. Nice. Is that end your round? Uh, I'll do a spell slot. This will be my third one. Uh, all right. <laughs> We're good. Okay. All right. Uh, you can make a wisdom saving throw now to end the confusion. You yes. are no longer confused. Yes, bitch. Go, girl. Nice. Uh, Tremor, it's your turn. Tweba does a heal on himself again. This uh, time, level two. 
You're good? Plus four. 16 healing. Nice. Do you do anything else this round? Um, I'm going to... Uh... All right. This is going to be big brain. Okay. I'm going to try to see if I can begin to piece together the missing piece of the spell based on how much we have so far. Uh, go ahead and make an arcana check. You are unable to piece the final piece. Thou oh, shucks. Oh, is there only one more piece? But you are able to determine there is uh, two more pieces. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, then he's going to run there, and that's his turn. Uh, How just like staring at Eleanor in panic. Uh, the the uh, message comes through. I'm just asking. Just I'm assuming everyone takes it. Just let me know if yes. you change your mind. Yes. Uh, yes. Was Al only afraid of Eleanor till the end of his next turn? Yep. No, it's. Oh, is it that? Or yep. until he passes the. Nope. Until the end of his next round, he's good. He's okay. Good now. Where are we now, Nigel? You know where we are. I was... Idiot, dumbass. Piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> can, can I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> PvP Jeez, breaks out know, completely on the same piece as well. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh my god. I was amazed at what we found next. As you enter the wish chamber, you see a slow moving blue snake. Oh. As uh, Malcolm. Is kind of like just breathing heavily. Um, Nigel's doing the same. He walks up and he notices the snake. And he looks at it and kind of picks it up a little bit. This was someone's familiar. But he just looks around. Malcolm walks over. Well, perhaps it's yours now, hmm? Maybe now you have earned your own familiar for bravery or some reason. <laughs> but where are we? He looks over at the statue and he looks at the, uh, the sand that's over here. I've, I've heard rumors of this place. I... He looks down, bashedly. It was the reason why I came to this academy. There was rumors of a wishing chamber underneath the school. I was hoping to use it to... Well. And then he shakes his head and... He says, it doesn't matter now. Malcolm just goes, if you're about to say you were going to wish for a familiar, that would have been a terrible waste for a wish. Well, how does it work? What, what do you mean? If this is the, a famous wishing chamber, we could wish for wealth, power, respect, anything you want, anything we want. And uh, at that point, you just kind of see Nigel look down and he says, honestly, at this point, I just want the students to come back. And Malcolm, as if he forgot for a moment what, ha what happened, he looks down as well. Mm, I suppose that wouldn't be a bad wish at all. Mm. Prized by you. And... Uh, at that point, Nigel just looks and says, I wonder... Oh, wait a minute, there's... He's looking around at the, at the sand. And he points. This has been used... Very recently. Like, do you see it? The drawing in the sand. What are you suggesting? 
I think if we just retrace the symbol, we perhaps use our wish. At that point, you begin to hear footsteps walking down this hallway, this corridor over here, as they all look up. As you see the instructor from before begin to walk over. Uh, give me one second. Round two. And she just looks over and... Uh, it's just like, I believe that's quite enough from the two of you. I'm sorry to have to get personal with this, but you understand. And she holds out her hands for the good of the school. Uh, and she shoots out day bolts uh, over at towards uh, Nigel. And Mal Mal Malcolm steps forward to, to block the hit before he steps back a little bit, heaving from the damage as he holds out his arms. Nigel, you're going to have to do something. I don't think I'll be able to stop her. Uh, quickly, give me some power or, or something. S just make this work. And then at that point, Nigel in a panic just kneels down. He draws the symbol. And as he does so, the snake, Nigel, and Malcolm disappear. Uh, the instructor, Melira, just stomps her foot. She puts a, a, a finger to her head and thinks for a moment. Oh, you won't be able to hide from me forever. She disappears in a puff of smoke. The uh, illusion, the ghostly figure of Nigel steps forward. Hi. I didn't understand the, the point or the, the purpose of this room. The dangers that hide from within. We just cast a wish spell. I just did anything to escape. I didn't realize the great evil that was from within. Oh no. And now we continue the, the fight. Gym. All right. Gin time, baby. Oof. Never had friend of me. Uh, it is top of the round, Gideon. Ah, uh, uh, I want to Arcana check his health specifically. Okay. Where did my, why did d, &D Beyond just crash for me? What the heck? Uh, I'm just gonna roll a, roll one d20 and my modifier is not enough to give me that. Okay. Uh, what else do you do? Uh, I want to cast. Oh. Well, I showed it anyways. Yeah, I actually yeah. did it. It's okay. It's enough. You did it. You figured Graceful it out. The Whoa. Wow. Wow. Very kind of. That was only an eleven total. Yeah. Um, I guess I will. I mean, it feels like we're near the end. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cast magic missile. Okay. Okay. Six, nine, nine 12, 14, 14 points of damage. Uh, Jim, what number am I at for my uh, my spell slot recovery? <laughs> uh, give me one second. The note in the circle also appears if you decide to change that. Uh, you, the number that you are at currently is five. Uh... Yeah, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. You got a good yeah, job. yeah, 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 yeah. Besides, it could be something good. I thought it's I rolled true. that too. Oh, uh, you're good. Cool. I'm just going to recover uh, two first level spell slots. And you also, also grab my, the my notes. Illusions, my illusions. Yeah, I'm also grabbing the notes. But my, just really quick, my um, my mirror image is up for a total of one minute. So that would still be up? Or... Yep. Yes, okay. it would. Cool. Uh, Alice, your turn. Uh... 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, I'll go here actually. Peek around the corner. Check! Intelligent saving throw applies. Uh. One second. What, what did you say? Intelligence? 
Yes, please. Failed. Okay. 2d10. I'm gonna get good rolls here. No, I'm not. Seven points of psychic damage. Okay. <sighs> Again, it's supposed to. Oh, what? I have to. It's... Okay. What? Come on. You son of a bitch. You succeed. How can he keep That's getting insane. away with this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the number resets after you down. fail, right? Isn't that how nope. it works? DM? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm at, Absolutely I'm not. I'm at 10. It's 50 50. Um, and that's where I'm going to end my turn. All right, Shremer. Twebber is going to let out a wolf howl. A howl! At uh, second level, actually, which is an upcasted one, which has is not done before. But that means that now a 10 meter radius around. <gasps> Gets oh, advantage. Hell yeah. So uh, this one can zap. Uh, Dolphy <laughs> doesn't have to be right behind her. So uh, that's great. Eleonora, it is uh, your turn. No, no, uh, Mr. DM wasn't <laughs> oh, done. Thank oh, you. sorry, sorry, sorry. Please, I'm gonna After get you. my uh, spell slots back. Thanks. Well, I hope <laughs> you roll uh, bad on your <gasps> wild magic, and it. Yep. Nope. You're good. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I was a little upset. Um, and then I'm going to Arcana check. Uh, to. Um, I don't know. Just kind of figure something out. What do you want to? <laughs> what do you want to figure out? It's something that I don't know. You can't just. You gotta be specific <laughs> with How this. How many does the Jin have? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what spell does the Jin have? What's he gonna do? Uh, he appears to be uh uh has a affinity towards fire. Cool. Me too. <laughs> all right that's it that's my turn. all right eladora all right i can reach him from here right yep okie dokie can i get advantage yep Ooh. that's a crit that's a crit nice. that's a crit Kill that's him. a crit what does that mean for me 4d 20. 20. are you fucking serious please one shot this gym oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the last two numbers were definitely low but that's okay yeah, holy fuck. 38 damage is still nothing to sneeze at uh, uh it is now well i think it's now it's its turn create fire Uh, I think I could just do this, yeah. What the hell? Wait. Al blows up. Ah. <laughs> ah. This is the pillar of fire where Al used to be. <laughs> uh, give me one second. So we could all see that. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. Uh, I need Al. I need you to go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Ah. Okay. That's a no, fail. Okay. And uh, yeah, one over here too. Oh, that was close. Yeah, one over there. Let me also make sure that you guys can see this. Visible to everyone. All right. Yeah. Uh, Eleonora, please make a dexterity saving throw. Okie dokie. Oh, no. All right, so you both have failed. And you both take... 16 points of fire damage. Yeesh. The fire persists and blocks the line of sight. Okie dokie. Uh, Gideon, you're next. Uh, I am going to cast Glacial Decay at this thing. Okay. That hits. Oh. Ooh. 18 points. Spicy. Uh, anything else? Uh, I am going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and say, Hey, big idiot, look at me. <laughs> and then on my oh, turn. taunt. Al, it's your turn. Taunting a memory. <laughs> um, I'm gonna second level magic missile, so I cast five. Okay. Uh, okay. Four, five, six, 
All right. That's 18. Anything else? I move oh. a little bit, oh. and that's it. Okay. <laughs> Eleanor, it's your turn. If you end your okay. turn in this fire, uh, you will take more damage, just so you know. Okie dokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, bud. Hey, how's it going? That hits. Take it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the oh, member... Crap. And the memory ends. Wait, where are the papers? Wait, wait, Tremor yells. Oh. Eleanor, get to the healing. Wait. Oh, good idea. Okay. I uh, use the rest of my movement to get into the ceiling. Okay. You heal for 17 health. Woo! As you return back, only one memory remains. Fuck yeah. Uh. Tremor slips her around. <laughs> Gideon, it's your turn. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna just. Oh, I'm not close enough, am I? Dang it. Okay, I'll move 10 feet up and then cast Glacial Decay at this guy. Okay. That hit. 14 points. Uh, Alice, your turn. Um. I have to give her a skip, but 5, 10. Right behind the pillar, some more. Actually, wait. Do we reckon we should knock this thing down? Uh, I think it wouldn't hurt to start lowering its health, but... Also, the Cloud of Daggers is gone, Brett, because I used um, my Wolf Howl. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boo! Uh, I'm going to catch a Scorching Ray on it, then. We don't okay. want to kill it, though. Yeah. You'll have advantage on the attack, okay. by the way, because of me. <laughs> Ow! You, you look wait, over at... Is that only if I'm in five feet? No, ten, ten feet, feet now. now. Oh. Cast it at a higher level. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right, advantage, then. So that's the first, this is the first one, the second one, and this is the third one. Uh, the 23 and 16 hit for 19 total points of damage. Nice. And the first one, the 16 hits for four points of damage, so. Can I uh, use my arcana check to see if, when the separation, now that we have enough like notes from this, when the separation spell ends, would we still need to kill this thing? Oh, uh, yes, you can. Nice. The uh, separation should be enough. You won't Ow. have to do anything physical we after that. We don't have to destroy this thing. Just survive. Eleanor, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna... I mean, we just have to survive and avoid its attacks until next memory, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'm not going to waste a spell slot. I'm just going to... Boop. Hide over here. <laughs> Tremor. Um, I made Shand high five, Eleonora, and Al. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Does that end your round? <laughs> yeah. The waking dream. As you return to the lab that they that they teleported to, mm -hmm. you see Malcolm almost bloodied. Nigel's holding out his hand, and this instructor, Melira, begins to step in. She followed them. Damn. She really think you could hide in your father's old academy there, Nigel. And you just kind of see him trembling. As he steps back, he walks back a little bit. And she steps forward and... I don't care how you're associated with the Master. You have been... a thorn in my side, as well as the other Daymancers. Your father will understand your... loss. Um... And as she holds out her hand, he walks over. Malcolm goes in, arms charging, trying to do something. And she once again blasts day bolts over at Malcolm, knocking him back and unconscious against these boxes. 
Nigel darts over to, to, to Malcolm and, and back to Melira before he begins to cast a spell. What do you possibly think you can do against me, boy? And at that point, you see clouded magic begin to, to surround as uh, Nigel is casting day magic. And then one by one. They appear. Best. And they just appear ill, ill at sluggish. He looks around and he his his clouds are still oozing out of his hands as he goes, No, no that's not wait. You can't it was just supposed to be duplicates, illusions. And at that point, you'd begin to see these fleshy appendages from Nigel's hands begin to go out towards the familiars as he's just is casting spells and doing the best he can to, like, hold back what's to come. Um, at this point, Melira just puts her hands down and says, Phew. That was easy. You've doomed yourself, boy. Perhaps I should assist you in this transformation. As she begins to also cast day magic. And as she does so, these red clouds begin to, to form around. And, uh... As they do so, you just begin to hear the, the, the blood-curdling combination as she continues to chant the spell, assisting and moving forward, turning Nigel into an abomination. This would be fascinating for my studies. Rest well, boy. I shall keep you here. See what you become. And document this for the day. Hmm. I shall return one day. And then she teleports and vanishes as the entire room begins to fill with a red smoke and, and cloud. At that point, uh, notes would appear over in front of you guys. The final piece of the, the spell. Perfect. What would you do? Grab them. Grab, grab them. Grab them. As, as you grab I, them, Tremor will actually ask the spectral Nigel yeah. and point to Malcolm. D does he make it? If he's within the day, then his life should be suspended. I've been doing everything that I can to keep him alive. How do we save you? You have the spell now. Simply cast it. Why did you... What was your purpose in duping our familiar? How would it have even helped you in the situation? I felt as if I could... turn the illusions into something more. I would have assistance against a... a, a, a dangerous mage like Malira. I don't think... I was afraid. I, I, I didn't think I could do it by myself. I saw your faces and how you battled fiercely with familiars at side. I just, I wanted something like that, but I didn't think it would take your familiars to that. I'm sorry. I don't expect you to forgive me, but this is what will be needed if you want to get them back. Nigel, what did you wish for at the gin? I was scared. I seeked an escape to some place more comforting. I just simply said I wanted to go home. And it took me here, the old academy. What do you think that means? I don't know. From, from our experience, you don't normally get such a straightforward grant to your wish. I don't remember this place. I've never been here before. 
But what about your father? This is his place. I don't remember anything about here. The academy was destroyed 50 years ago. It's something that we have to think about, but I can't. I can't hold this memory for long. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Make it sound. The battle continues. Gideon, you have the spell of separation. It is a ranged spell. You have to make a successful spell attack roll. But it, it may require me, get several, and it might require several separations to do so. How far is the range on this spell? 60 feet. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to go 10, 20, 25, 30. Is that 10? Is that 10? No, it's 15. Dang it. Okay. Well, you can also hold your attack until I will hold my separation spell closer. until Trevor tremors in range. Yeah, because you go last. So yeah, we can yeah. Right we yeah can we, and we can do like a fucking anime thing where we all fire at once. Yeah, that'd Dude. be cool. Yeah. I end my turn. Okay. You can still cast it now if you'd like. But it won't be an advantage. Ah, I see. Yeah, you're uh -huh. trying to get advantage. All right, Al, it's your turn. Take the step up. Together. He's going to wait. Advantage. Oh. Does that, uh, do you cast the spell or does it end? Do you end your round? We're, in, we're, we're, waiting. we're all going to do it together. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Eleanor. Uh, all right. If we all stand together like this and then Tremor fills that last spot. At that, at this point, you begin to see Lumi come back to life. Oh, okay. Eleanor, it's your turn. What? I, I moved already and I'm okay. going to, I'm going to hold the spell until we're all ready. Tremor. Tremor fills in the last spot Yee. together <laughs> and we all put our hands together yeah. <laughs> you stole my line <laughs> <laughs> I said it first say it with uh, me to together alright we all roll at advantage so that's going to be a lot of fucking rolls is yeah. that a spell, spell attack? Spell yep, spell attack roll. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> Where do you El see that? Eleonora, oh, Eleonora is successful. A hundred points of damage is dealt to the abomination. Oh my god. Gideon is successful. A hundred points of damage is done to the abomination. Tremor is successful. A hundred points of damage. And Where all that's left attack? is Al. The spell attack is on, if you go to your spells tab, it's at the top with the little purple dice. Uh, nice. Aldorus nice, is, dude. Aldorus is also successful. And with the comb combined spell, an additional 100 damage is dealt. Oh, friendship. As <laughs> he lets out a howl and begins as a white light emerges from him. He separates. The room turns white. Check. Check. I just want to say it. <laughs> you just want to say it so bad. God. Uh, give me one second, and I will tell you what you see. But you did it. You succeeded. You all have emerged victorious. Can't, can't believe this fucking gnome professor is still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cucking the, the moment. moment. Yeah. He's I, always been here. And I'm, I'm here still. too! <laughs> stood there. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my <laughs> part. Uh, give me one second. <laughs> I've used that guy so much. All right. A couple of things. Uh, oh god, I'm dragging this all to the wrong there. Your eyes flicker open, Tremor. <laughs> you were asleep in divination class. 
Oh, you're finally Trimmer? awake. Trimmer? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I asked, would you get? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. And as the light fades, you see everyone back in the room, separated and waking up as if they were coming mean, out of a bad dream. Oswin! Rushes forward, picks Lumi. up Lumi! Risk? Same. Trimmer's gonna go to Nigel, the human. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, we're bonded <laughs> spiritually okay. to these animals, okay? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's just lying down. Trimmer's gonna wrap his scarf around him. Aww. He appears, is he unconscious? He appears unconscious. I'm gonna try to cast a healing spell. Can I still manipulate day magic like that? No, you're not in the day. Fuck. What if I do it anyway and I make him an abomination again? Cue <laughs> the battle music. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I, fuck. I'll use my healing potion. I never used it. I plant the bean! Just kidding. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> I feed Nigel the bean. <laughs> Nigel gets up. <sighs> he look, like looks around, alarmed. It's okay. And... <sighs> You're safe now. Tremor, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I... We know. <sighs> we know everything. He looks around to all the familiars still alive. You, you, you did it? Yeah, we're pretty powerful. <laughs> he looks to his friends. I would say especially, so. Especially that one, he points at Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. Malcolm. Tremor will snap his fingers for Otto to come to him. He doesn't go to Otto. Bad, Otto comes to him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Gideon will walk over to Malcolm yeah. to check on him. He's unconscious. Give him a little, not a, a little slap, a little slap, wake him up. It's a death save throw. He's unconscious. He needs healing. I slap him anyway with a negative one strength modifier to wake him up, Brett. Okay. You're actually gonna kill him. He's actually no, gonna he kill him. He can't do damage with an undistracted, I think. Yeah, yeah he's literally, he you, begin to, you begin to, you slap him around. He doesn't seem to respond. All right. Don't, why don't you heal uh, I, I don't have any, can, can Otto, can Otto heal? Is that a thing? I, I don't know, Otto. Can you heal? Ooh. No. <laughs> no. Of course not. You crazy? <laughs> uh, Nigel, does that do, do any of us heal? We don't heal. Potions? I don't have any potions. Yes, we do. We we made them, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Forgot about that. I made. Didn't I we? used mine. Oh, I forgot. Wait, when did we make potions? In the. When we went to the village. Oh, I th I don't think Gideon ever made any potions. I made them, right? Yeah, you made healing potions. How many though? You just made one. one for each of us. Pretty yeah, sure, right? You, you would have, you would have, you would have a potion. You would have a potion. Oh, Gideon. okay. I'll use my potion on Malcolm then. He gets up, as you heal him. He just jolts awake. Uh, uh. I almost said, "Oh," um, but he uh, he gets up. <laughs> and he, lo he looks over at uh, Gideon. What? Are, what are you doing here? It's it's over, Malcolm. We we separated. It's over. He gets up a little bit and he kind of gives like a like a almost like a nod to Gideon, but he's actually a little more concerned. Nigel, are you all right? I'm uh, I'm fine. I I'm sorry again. I just I'm just glad everything's okay. Just glad we're all okay. Could you, did you ever forgive me? Yeah, 
Who are you talking to? Like everyone, everyone, everyone essentially. I thought he was talking to Malcolm, so I was like, uh, uh, I don't. Yeah, yes. How many of the teachers are involved? I don't trust. Mal I, I, I don't trust Malira. Well, yeah. <laughs> that seems like an obvious. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the butter yeah. isn't right. And 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 and, 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 and Ven Venoway seems to know as well, but that's all we saw, right? And Malcolm nods. I'm not going back to that school. Not without help, at least. Well, coming here. What other choice do we have? We're, the, we're students. Oh yeah. Well, when oh, Al says wait, that, that's right. Trevor walks right up to him. Oh my god. And as everyone oh, comes to that realization, the last thing but. you see is Nigel transforming into a book. What? What? As Headmaster Kronos appears, hand what? extended with a true polymorph spell, book in hand what? of what was formerly Nigel. What? Brett? Yeah? What? Intent-wise, can I roll an inside check to see if, like, Absolutely. this is, like, cruel? Absolutely. What? what are you trying to find out? Like, to see if this was, like, a malicious thing or if it was a test. Kind of, like, see if she's kind of come in, like, proud or oh, just kind of angry. There is a bit of malicious intent as she does that. What? Then the first thing that Owl was going to do... Is he's gonna run? So before you do that, since talking is a okay. free action, mm -hmm. she would you 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 with that knowledge you gain, she looks around and she says, "Students, are you hurt? I received your distress call." What did you just do to Nigel? Contained him Con for now. What do you mean contained him? Is he dangerous? Clearly. He's innocent. Release him. That is for... Um, that is for a tribunal to decide, my, my dear student. He yes, didn't he do anything wrong. Yes, he did. No. Of course he, has a, he didn't. Al has a point. There was an alarm. There was an alert of... He looks over to Al. What did you say again? Which bit is she referring to, sorry? To you, when you were when you gave her the message. Something with your right. familiars, right? Precisely. I'm at the end of the day. He did do wrong. He... She no she nods. And he what of his, what of Valeria? She well, just turned Oh yeah, I'll let you guys speak. Headmaster. Malaria. What was the other teacher called, sorry? Was it Ben? Uh, Venaway. Venaway, yeah. Venaway, Venaway. Malaria and Venaway. They were also behind this. In what way? Oh. They were the ones who created the abomination. He stole our familiars, but... Malaria was the one who created it. Do you have proof or evidence of this? All of us can confirm it. You're holding it, Shimmer will say, motioning that to too. Nigel. Uh, he was there. She'll give a nod and says, I, I've been through quite a bit, it seems. At that point, she'll open a bag of holding to her side, drop the book in. Oh, boy. Fucker. And nod. <sighs> this, this is a serious accusation, and... One we must investigate thoroughly. Tremor's gonna make eye contact with Malcolm and see what his what he is planning to oh, do. Oh, he looks what his... he looks pissed, and he's also looking back at you, kind of trying to get the same like like what 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 are we you know what what are you doing? What are we doing? Like he's kind of looking at you for for a bit of like almost as if to say, I'm I'm with whatever you decide. 
And and you said I saw maliciousness in her voice. On her face. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you saw. Oh, yeah, when she did that, there was definitely maliciousness. Mm. May I be excused for a moment? I really need to urinate. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, he's got a plan. <laughs> you can do so once we return. I can create a portal back to the uh, school. Actually, you know, it's not a really good idea. He's probably going to piss himself, so you should probably let him let him go just for the sake of embarrassment. Can I try a like persuasion check or something? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> can I aid if I'm like? Yeah. Like act, acting like he's gonna pee yeah. himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Legs. Go ahead and make a persuasion check as well. Refer to the chat if you want a reference picture. <laughs> She kind of, she kind of gives a sigh and says, I, it's "Very well, just outside the room. Be quick. I don't want to be here any moment longer than we have. We can. This is a forbidden area." Aldoris, what you doing, boy? Um. Okay. Uh, he's gonna cast sending. Okay. To his dad. Okay. Hmm. He's going to say 25 words. I just got to make sure I've got this right. Okay. Father, I message you only because it's urgent. The school has betrayed us. Headmaster is creating weapons to betray kingdom. Warn the king. Oh, to, uh, welcome first. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. There it is. Oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> and he's going to return to him. Oh, almost spilled everywhere. Wait, isn't there? <laughs> God damn it. Doesn't his father have a response? Yeah, actually, yeah, he would be able to hear his father 25 words. Oh, no, his father couldn't say as many words. No, I think it's 25. I think it's 25, so. You would get a response back. Dad, please pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I shall inform the king. Your mother and I are proud of you. Aww. Be safe until we arrive. Aww. All right. Shall we go back to school then? <laughs> <laughs> the little <Yeah>. laugh. <laughs> Trevor's yes. gonna insight check out. Like, the fuck was that? <laughs> uh. Okay. You see tears in his eyes. Oh, uh, especially with that you'd see his eyes welling out with tears. Oh shit! Hey, oh, dude. you guys can oh, read him we like can a read book. Outdoors. Read him like oh, Nigel. Oh, oh, that must have been a really big piss. <laughs> <laughs> My God. I'm really glad you got to go, Al. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Are you all proud of yourself when you do basic bodily functions? Well, yes, Aldoris, it's a huge thing for him. It's a big accomplishment. If you knew him well at all, you'd understand, so. <laughs> he just kind of chuckles under his breath. <laughs> uh, enough of this crass talk. Are we all ready you, to go? What do you plan to do with him? A, a tribunal will be gathered, and then we will determine his fate. We're not going to sentence him to death or anything like that. We're not barbarians. He's a child. Well, nobody said that. Why but, are you saying that? But he's a child that has committed atrocity. You all are members of an esteemed academy. You will be treated as you are adults when you commit heinous adult acts. Who's who? Who's charging him? I am the headmaster of the Exodus Academy. But who? On what crime our familiars are here? They're fine. Dark magic stole familiars? Where's the evidence of dark magic? I'm sorry. Why are you here, young lady? Why is there a djinn underneath the school? Headmaster. That is a good question as well. I was not aware of such things. Oh, inside check. Let's get him, mm, gang. Yeah. yeah. Let's get him, gang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we roll? Yeah, feel free. Did you roll? Oh, you did. Uh, Eleonora. Yeah. There is deceit. Okay. In that um, voice. Headmaster. Please. My friends are confused. Of course. I just saw a couple of teachers up to no good. 
and they are mistrusting. But we know that you're excellent. We'll come back to the school, go around your proper proceedings. Of course. We can, we can trust in it. Of course, of course so. yes, and I would love to assist in any sort of investigation because it seems like there's things going on at the school that you're not quite aware of, like, you know, a gin. So. Well, you can be assured our families will hear about this. Absolutely, and I'm not sure in good faith you can try a child when well, there are things at play here. Of well, course I can. Well, not in good of, faith. Co of course your family's going to find out about this. And only good things. You have went on quite a bit of an adventure, and while it wasn't sanctioned, I seem, you see you have gained much power and knowledge in your arcane arts. In fact, as headmaster, I believe... I believe an advancement is in order. You're no longer first-year students. There's nothing to learn at that year. I dare say, few years there's nothing to learn. When we get back, the first thing I will do, I will put in the books, is promote you all to fifth-year students. There's, wow. m there's much you can learn at the Academy. And I believe we are going to have the opportunity this year to get to know each other very, very well. We've only ever been to one class. <laughs> and, you, and you've learned so much already. You're very gifted. I'm proud of you. Especially Ooh. you, Al. Thank oh. you, Headmaster. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Can I can I make an insight check just to see if she's being purely manipulative? Yes. Uh, can... <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Uh, you can't. You, it's, it's, it's difficult to read. I did find one. Tremor will scoop up this snake. He knows who it belongs to. He oh, wants yeah. To you have two familiars? Well, that's against the rules, but... He's oh, going to give her a look, like, are we really going to start drawing lines in the sand here? Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and as you give her a look, she smiles a little bit and says, oh, I believe you deserve some leeway. There's much He's you can learn. There's much you can learn at the schools, and so many records of of spells that we do not give to our first or second year students or even third and fourth will be part of a, an elite section of students placed in a hall of fame within the Exodus Academy. There are this. many spells you can learn and under correct supervision I will allow you into some more of our advanced learnings such as the history of necromancy if you do so desire to learn the art we do frown upon that school of magic but it is important that we understand it you all have a bright future in front of you I'm very excited and I will be there with a smile every step of the way mm. come now how Come now, students. It's time to go come go back home. Tremor's gonna make another insight check on specifically if this portal is gonna send us somewhere safe or is she actually Ooh. just putting us in jail. Yeah, can we do Arcana check for that? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, I, I, yeah I absolutely. That. You are all returning back to the school? Okay. You're not going to some mysterious room, or it's it'll be actually right at the uh, headmaster's office, which is open for the oh. entire school. You deserve a break. Come now, students. I don't want to be here a moment longer. We shouldn't be here. It's actually quite illegal. Yes, of course. Sherman's going to make eye contact with this whole party to kind of see where they're heads at uh Ma <sighs> malcolm gives you a nod and, um, and and as he's walking by he looks over to gideon and gideon for the first time you receive this look of like it's it's hard to explain he's looking at you as if to say like he wants to squash the beef, essentially, because there's a lot more at, at play now, it feels like, and than, than having arguments with you. 
So mm-hmm. he kind of he's just kind of looking at at you, Gideon, for like a like an affirmation almost. Give him a kiss. Yeah, uh, Gideon would like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> would would give him kiss, but in a uh, in a way that's just like, yes, I return the affirmation, and the beef, the beef has been squashed. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of like, like nod I, nod back at him. Yeah, I nod back at him, but then I shake my head no. Like I sh- I I basically want to give him his affirmation, but like. Gideon's not going back to the school. Shit. Mm. He he would just like look over at you. What are you doing? There's nothing for me there. And whatever evil is being done, I don't believe we can stop it from the inside out. There's a greater plane where I can learn more. He looks around a little bit. You're saying this quiet, like under your breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is hushed tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we should go for now and then plan an escape from the inside out. Staying here would only raise suspicion. and I don't think she's going to let you stay here. We're not staying at the school forever, Gideon. And if there is this greater plane that you speak of. Trust me, I'm interested in going as well. Mm. But I feel like, but I feel like we need to go together on this one. Gideon will just nod. Um, can I do something while she's baking the portal? Yeah. Tremor would cast Mage Hand and try to scoop up whatever this book is. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do an Arcana check so that she doesn't see you do that. Um, as you're doing so and the book's like kind of coming over, she would feel something turn around and just smirk as she would push the book back, essentially, and then, uh, look over at you. Insightful little student. Always trying to gather more knowledge. There's nothing you can learn here. We should probably leave it where it stays, hmm? <laughs> um, I was going to step over to Eleanor and go, Eleanor, we should get back to the school. That game of dragon chess that we were midway through. Well, it's our move next. <laughs> oh my gosh. Eleanor is going to smirk at Al and nod and just be like, I think you're right, Al. I'm a justice crown. <laughs> <laughs> King, your crown is falling. <laughs> Adjusted. The, the portal is ready. <sighs> All right, step into it, yeah? Yep. And obviously, bring it, hold in Oswin in his hand. Yes, holding yeah. Lumi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're just staring at us. It's uh, fucking Lumi. <laughs> and at that point, the portal opens. And before you know it, you've returned back to the Arcane Academy. Uh, different from when you first entered it. It's strange being back. But now there is purpose for being here. Whether it is to stop a, a secret or simply to escape to a higher plane of being. We will simply have to see what happens on the next season. Woo-hoo! And so ends season one of the Arcane nice. Academy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Checkmate. 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 Did you guys? Rock music kicks in. Did you, uh, did you guys have uh, fun? Was that a, a fun battle? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I wanted yeah, to do like yeah. a big lore RP battle for the yeah. for the campaign. So it was a cool mix of both. Yeah, good work. Hell yeah! Thank you. Good job, Brett. That's awesome. Yes. Well, so we're gonna be off next week, but uh, I would love to have not today because we did run a little over. But uh, maybe next Thursday we can all we can have like a recap podcast uh, for the mm-hmm. Patreon sure, and fine. and Sounds also good. talk a little bit about season two, which will probably start 
not next, well, obviously not next week, but the following week will probably be the continuation of the story. Um, okay. Just got to see where everyone is. Uh, the podcast will also determine, because we're all going to do the same thing for All King as well, uh, what is everyone's plans? Because at that point, that will also determine where the uh, the campaign goes to. So instead of a narrative being forced and followed, mm-hmm. it's more of like, all right, what's the objective when you get back? And then we're going to be building a campaign specifically around the objectives of all the students. Um, cool. and then cool. we'll, we'll, uh, go from there. So, um, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Britt. Uh, we, yeah, I'll see you guys. Yeah. Next week. I'll say bye to chat as good. well. So thank you again. Bye. Bye. Thank you, man. Thank bye. you. Bye everybody. Bye. All right, guys. That's it. The end of the, uh, the arcane Academy. Uh, wow. Well, the end of the uh, chapter one is not just a little book. Yeah. That's last we saw. Nigel got in, turned into a book, tossed into a bag, and then we'll have to find out what's uh, what's going on in his neck of the woods at the end. So, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, big shout outs to our subscribers for today. Uh, Vicky Nash, thank you for the tier one sum. Uh, Artorius X Do- Dobaki, thank you for the tier one sub. And welcome to the Rack Pack. Brett, you love all around for that. Um, and Skelnoms, thank you for the tier one sub for two months. I just really going through it. Yeah, yeah, but there he is. Nigel's a book in the headmaster's bag of holding. Yep, that is the last we know of Nigel. So we'll have to see what happens in the next season of the Arcane Academy. Back to school, now year five students. Uh, hit that follow uh, if you really enjoyed. And if you want to recap and somehow you started at the beginning, head over to the VOD channel, go there. Uh, what a shout out to everyone who's followed us on our Patreon so far. We got to our next goal, which were Maps and Magic Item Art. That's being worked on right now. Thank you so much for supporting the Patreon. Big thanks, of course, to Link Zora Maj. Uh, big thanks as well to uh, Julia Shark, as well as the Hug Hunter for being our top tier Patreon supporters. It is greatly appreciated. Head over to the Patreon. Lots of stuff over there, by the way, so... Um, all right, that's it for now. I have, I've been need, needing to pee for literally three hours since we began the campaign. So I'm going to send you over to someone. Excuse me. Um, who's doing what? Who's doing what? Uh, go say hi to stripping. Go say hi to Strippin. Let him know that we had a really good D&D game. I'm, I'm trying to get Strippin to join my game as well, but he's been he's been literally doing like five D&D games or something like that. So uh, we'll get him. We'll, we'll get him over to Io as well one of these days. Uh, but drop some bread to love. Thank you again for being a part of this. I will see you all. Uh, well, that's it. We're taking the week off. So uh, as far as D&D is concerned, we'll be back with new campaigns the following week. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.